Carter's career, shall we? <laughs> Vinaya Skuno. Okay, so we're gonna make Draven first. We're gonna make her a spellcaster. So let's see here. Draven has a human. Okay, let's see. Let's go with some. Okay, she probably would have green eyes. So let's see. let's get her some green peepers. There we go. And then she would have some black hair. I've actually got the Grave Matters cast right here, the LPS. So I'm looking at her figure right now. So she's got these nice green eyes and she has the black hair. Let's see here. We need long black hair. Okay, that's pretty. Ooh. Kind of like this one, that black hair. Okay, let's see. Hmm, maybe it would be straight. I kind of, let's see, she has kind of like bangs, so maybe like if we could find some like pointy bangs. There's so many options on The Sims that it can get a little, a little overwhelming. So, let's see. I gotta, I gotta look through all of this here real quick. Okay. Well, that's a cool hairstyle. I like that. I don't know. I just really like this one. Maybe she did her hair that morning, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go with the outfit now. So, as we all know, Draven's a bit of a goth. So let's find some outfit that matches that. Okay, let's see here. Pax. I actually got the goth galore pack, so we can we can get her hooked up. There we go. That's that's looking a little uh -huh. bit more like Draven. Okay, we also need to get rid of the body scars really quick. Let's see here, body scars. Okay, let's change a few of the things. Okay, and I have to make sure. That she is a teen. Okay, perfect. Okay, aspiration. Draven loves music, so I'm gonna put that as her aspiration. She loves dark purple and black. Hmm. I think she'd also like red, so I'm gonna just say that she dislikes some of the... She's probably like green. Let's see, probably like blue. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. Music genre, spooky music, romance music, classical, alternative. And then we'll just kind of dislike everything oh, else, I guess. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, retro, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Looking good. Hmm. Cooking. Okay. Let's try with mixology. Okay, painting, yes. Yeah, she loves the piano. I think she'd be down with the pipe organ. Yes, come on, select. There we go. Okay. Alright, this is this is part of the fun part, selecting the traits. Okay, for Draven, um, hmm. Well, she's definitely creative. And I'd either go with gloomy or romantic, probably. Hmm. What do you guys say in the chat? Should we go with gloomy or romantic for Draven Grimm? Yeah, I gotta have those likes and dislikes to spice it up. That's right. Well, once she grows up, she can get another trait. So it's just about which one to start with. <laughs> Staring into Draven's eyes. You guys want to go with romantic first? Gloom? Okay, come on, give me more votes. What are we saying, guys, for Draven? 
Okay, in the meantime, I'll just enter her name in. Okay, Glarnia. we're gonna go with Romantic. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's edit. Hmm, do we have the correct face? I don't know, there's so many faces in The Sims, it could go so many ways. So, I, I don't know, I think it's fine. We got a lot of characters to make. <laughs> Ooh. But we can give her some dramatic, like, goth makeup. Let's see. Is this is yeah, this is it. This is the stuff, the goods. Also give her some black or purplish lipstick. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Those shoes will not do though, okay? We need we need different shoes. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Also, she would have like painted black fingernails, cause you know. You yeah, know, you yeah, know. There we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'm thinking we need a necklace. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's see. Necklace. Necklace time, baby. Okay, turn to face us. There we go. Okay, yeah. Mm, yes. All right. That you know what? Right off the bat, that's great. We'll just we'll just go with that. Looks great. Glarney. Okay, now I think we should try the option to make a sibling sim. Yes, I know we could do all these outfits, and I feel like we should. We could speed run this really quick. Okay, let's, let's speed run it. Okay, she can't have red with green pants. We, we gotta do something a bit more driven. We're speed running, folks. Okay, let's see. And we just gotta, we gotta get like purple or black going good enough <laughs> okay because you can always go back and change it later okay pants ba -ba 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 -ba. I kind of like these star pants I think they're just so cute okay yeah all right so this is our party outfit I think we need something a little bit more dramatic okay let's see what we got what we got that's pretty dramatic. Okay, and... So, swimwear. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, this is cute. She would definitely wear something like that. I can see that. Okay, we'll do that. And for the cold outfit. <laughs> I love the little hood. Yeah, okay, why not? Let's go with it. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. And bada bing bada boom. All right. So there we go. We got like a nice start for Draven here. Now we're going to, let's see here if it'll let me. Okay. Play with genetics. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on game. Sibling of Draven. So now we're making folks. Willow here. And Willow is an adult. And let's see, we need... We need Whammon. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. We need to try this again. Okay, give us a girl. <laughs> this time. It's really bent on making Lolo a guy. That's kind of funny. Oh, there we go. We just click it right there. There we go. Everything's fine, guys. We're good. Okay, so we got the sister going on. Alright, now we just need to... Let's see if we can edit the eyes. Because Willow has blue eyes. Let's see, do I want... Okay, I'm going to look at the figure. Okay, Willow has like light blue eyes. So let's go with that. Willow also has gray hair. Let's see here. No, she has like the light gray. But isn't that white? Okay, that's like white. We need to save that for like Aunt Harley. So we'll go with the darker gray, even though it's not completely like accurate, but it's like, you know, good enough. I don't know, I'm trying to see, is this good? I just, I really like this one. This one's kind of like, not sure about that. Maybe that's white. Yeah, cause this is, that's looking more white to me. So we'll do this. 
kind of this light, lit. light gray. Yeah, the granny hair. Okay, Willow has like long hair. So we probably want to do something a little bit different from Draven. So let's take a look-see. Huh. Yeah, okay. All right, you know what? I kind of like these side parts. That's really pretty. Maybe we'll go with that. Okay, and now we gotta get rid of the facial scar. We'll see here. <laughs> Cries. Okay, let's see where. How do I. Is that part of the body scar? Da -da -da. No, she doesn't have body scars. It's something on the face. Okay, we'll find it eventually as we're kind of going through here. Okay, that's probably... There we go. Alright. Nice. Okay. Especially. And now we gotta start picking out some outfits here. And of course, you know, for her party outfit, we'll put her in a wedding dress. <laughs> okay, let's see. Willow, she likes to be comfortable. So we'll just kind of go with something cozy comfy. Actually, I kind of did like that. She likes light blue, so I actually kind of like this. This is nice. Whatever she's wearing right here. <laughs> Give her big old boots. I mean, boots always look nice with like a short, like skirt or like like whatever's going on right here looks nice. Okay. Now let's do the look outfit. Okay, we need some blues up in here. There we go. Serious. Oh, lit. Okay, like blue. Yeah. All right. There we go. Athletic outfit. Focus. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I love the stars outfit. It kind of reminds me of Coraline. You guys getting that vibe? Okay, let's see here. This will be good. And I'm thinking when they move into their little house here, we'll have uh, Willow move into the basement like she is in the show. I think that'll be good. Okay, let's... Wow, that's uh okay, that's interesting. Let's go with the stars again. Okay, I'm already loving this little nighttime outfit. Look very cute. We'll keep it pretty much. Okay, here's the party outfit. So now this is where we need to get the, the wedding dress action going down. Okay. Or or make her Elsa, I guess. That that works too. Okay, let's see. There's a very specific dress I have in mind. Yeah, this one. We gotta get rid of the bracelets though. That doesn't doesn't match. Uh huh. We could put a, a ring. There we go. Okay. I feel like she needs a like a necklace for this. Oh whoops! Come here. Come here. <laughs> Something that looks kind of like you were at a wedding. There we go. Nice. She has like some kind of earring on. I don't know what's going on with the earrings, but let's see. Oh, there we go. It's a feather earring. Okay, that's cute. You know what? Why not? You can you can rock the the sunglasses. Okay, actually, let's see. What do we got? Yeah, that's looking nice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Sims is also just like a really nice relaxing game. Like I'm getting really like in the groove of being kind of cozy. Not really worrying too much. Like it's just like, yeah, this is chill. <laughs> so that's that's nice. Okay, this this is the warm outfit. Lots of grays, lots of light blues. Especially. And blues. Lola. Like darker shades of blue. Okay, that's interesting. Alright. 
I gotta do this again because I just love. But I like these roses. That's our nice one. Bilious. Oblit. Okay. <laughs> I like the little eye ring. That's fun. Beshni. Flopa. Okay, and before I forget, gotta do some fingernails. The bam. Okay, looking looking good. Oh. Yeah, I, th I think that's giving me Willow. Yeah. And then we need some makeup. That's right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's do her makeup. So maybe she doesn't wear as like of heavy makeup as Draven. But we can still have something nice that's like a. I really like the goth makeup. I think it's fun. Oh, those are cute little sparkles. Okay, let's see. Let's give her kind of... Okay, so like, we'll match her nose. She has like a light pink nose. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit darker, but that's fine. We'll just go with that. That's good. Okay, cool. So there is Willow. And then we just need to give an aspiration. I think that Willow's big thing is romance. So I'm just going to say the soulmate option here. Then let's get her likes and dislikes. She likes gray, she likes blue and white. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's see, maybe lullabies, like she's into softer stuff. I think she'd still appreciate the spooky. Oh, Shivan. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and finally, the activities. I just filled this out real quick. Pretty similar to, to Draven. There's a few things that are a little bit different, but there's some similarities. Yeah, boy, yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah. Maybe she doesn't like comedy, just for funsies. Yeah, okay. Alright, now it's time to select her traits. We get three traits because she's an adult. A young adult. Let's make sure that she is a young adult. Wait a minute. Yeah, because Aunt Harley's gonna be an adult. Okay, so romantic. I'm gonna put gloomy for Willow. Let's see, oh. what else would she want? Do, 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 do. Hmm, I could see her being family oriented. I could see Willow being very loyal. I could see her just being <laughs> labeled good. That works. Let's see, loves outdoors. Bookworm. Art lover could work too. Hmm, perfectionist is kind of fun. Neat. I'll just go with loyal. Uh -huh. Okay. So now that we have Draven and Willow, we could either do Zombie next, or we could do Aunt Harley and Avalon. Or we could have them get moved into the house a little bit, and then we can keep returning to like make new sims. So what do you guys think? Should we go on to zombie or should we go to aunt harley let me know in the chat <laughs> okay so we got some votes for zombie we got a vote for aunt harley what are we thinking guys bringing those votes can't move in without zombie Alright, I guess, let's see, I, I think, let's just go with zombie, let's uh, kind of mix it up from the humans. Now, this might be a point of debate, however, since I'm trying to match the colors of the characters, I'm going to make zombie green, because <laughs> she's a green caterpillar, and I think it's just fun. Haven't you always wanted a green cat? <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, I'm already liking the cat they already gave us. I think it's very cute. It's a little mixed breed cat. I, I could see zombie kind of being a little bit of a mutt, you know? <laughs> so, 
so now we just need to find like it's kind of a plain coat like I have zombie in my hand here like she doesn't really have anything going on except kind of a color gradient of like a kind of a another green tone so let's see if we can find that all right so like something like that could work actually really well can always do something like that I love the pets. I just- the pets in this game, it's very fun and cute. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I think that's kind of cute, this coat. Alright, so... Oh my gosh, so you can only do like a dark green? I guess we'll have to do the paint mode. All right, let's start with like a, like like a base, and then we'll just. Okay, it's time to go crazy, guys. We're gonna bring out the paintbrushes. Okay, I'm trying to get a good look. So zombie almost has like a seafoam green, and then it's like a brighter green. I'm not gonna color match it perfectly, but I'll just do something to go with it. Okay, we need a big old brush size. You are now a green cat. Be green! I know they say it's not easy to be green, but you're gonna do it for us. So we're starting out with kind of the sea foamy green, and then we're gonna do like a brighter green on top. I mean, they do have dyes for cats in real life, so like, why not? I could, I could see people having like a green cat. I'm trying to get that back leg kind of a tough spot to reach with the paintbrush. But I think we're getting it. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do the other green. So it's a little bit more of a green than a sea foam. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to get it right. Maybe a little darker. I want it to be clear that it's different. Okay, one second. So it's a little bit on the top of the head. But we need something that's kind of close to what we did and it'll look really nice. Okay, that's gotta be right. Come here. Okay, here we go. Alright, there we go. We'll just kind of have this go down like that. There we go. And then we'll do it on the other side. There we go. And then we're going to do an even like brighter green. And we're just going to kind of splat that on there. How to paint your cat green. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. And it's just a rough approximation, so like, you know. <laughs> now we need to change zombies eye color to be like a light green. Yeah, actually, I, I think that's good. No, I kind of like this, though. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then for the nose color... I, I kind of like the pink. Like, pink is fun, it's cute, it's bright. Looks kind of like an alien cat. But who cares, right? I could also do black. What do, what do we feel in chat? Should we do black or pink? For zombie here. You like the effect of the green on top? Okay, that's good. Zombie's pretty much just like an average cat. Like, that's kind of... <laughs> in terms of build and everything. You guys like the pink? Okay. I kind of like this, this hair that's going on. It's kind of a fun texture. 
Okay, mixed breed. Let's actually put zombie's name in first. Oh, I forgot to do all the pronouns. Okay, let's see here. So, zombie's affectionate. I would say she's clever. She likes to she likes to talk. So, maybe what do you think, guys? We'll just go with like affectionate, clever, and talkative. Is that good? Let's <laughs> just keep it simple. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see. I could also see curious. Okay. I'm just really I'm curious really quick if I can there's like this stripe of white. There we go. I wanted to get rid of that. And just for funsies, do a little bit more detailing. Like I said, just for funsies, you know? <laughs> okay, so that's looking good, guys. Awesome. And just because we're here, and I don't know if we'll get to be able to change it later. Okay, what did I do? Oh, I need to have this go down, like, all the way. There we go. I actually kind of want to make the muzzle a little bit more white. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I kind of want to do the above the eyes as well. There we go. A little pop. I think that looks really nice. And then I also wanted to show you guys what she would look like as a kitten. I mean, there's always the option that we could just start her off as a kitten. But then we'd have to age her up. I I'm actually going to let the chat decide that. Do you guys want to start off as a kitten or should we start off as cat? Up to you guys. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can find the perfect voice. I'm kind of... I mean, the voice they, they did is good. She does have a high voice, though. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so kitty zombie? Or you would just want cat? <laughs> Vote it up, people! I'll take a drink break in the meantime. Slurp it up. Okay, full cat. Okay, there's zombie. I think we're good. <laughs> really quick, I'm gonna add pronouns. I like that they added that. It's awesome. Okay, well, let's have our peeps move into the house. And then we'll make Aunt Harley and Avalon in a bit here. First get them like kind of settled in, you know? All right, making sure I got all the attributes. Yeah, we're good. All right. Looking good. Okay, we need to edit this really quick, but oops. Okay, wrong <laughs> edit. Slow <laughs> Okay, come here. I gotta change you to be in the Grim household. Okay. And we'll move uh, Moon. Wow. We'll move Moon back. <laughs> I love how zombie is like bright green. Like it's great. Sula. Okay, everybody's gotta get to know zombie really quick. <laughs> so cute. So, so. Uh -huh. On their meeting for the first time, they're like, oh, uh -huh. hey, we're like related and shit. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Praise her. So, uh. It is the way. Uh. 
I love when they play no. with the laser pointer. <laughs> Shabini. There we go. A little laser pointer action. <laughs> Fashna. Too cute. And like, even though it's dark outside, zombie like sticks out. Like we're not losing her. At least, I hope not. Okay, let's take a look-see in our house here. So I moved into a house that looks kind of like the Haunted Mansion. You know, that's fitting as this is the Grim household. There's like a little pond in front. Gives off kind of that spooky vibe. Wow, already acquired the cooking skill. Good on you. So we have a seance parlor. We got a nice little place to sit in front of the fire, get all cozy in our kitchen. What is up with the lights? We need to turn on all the lights. It's also cool because you can set the color and sensitivity. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna make everything purple. Cause I can. <laughs> You can also kind of like dim it. Oh, that's cool. Now that's looking extra spooky. So we got a bedroom here. There's another bed here. We need some more bedrooms it looks like. Oh, there's another seance parlor. You know, you can never have too many seance parlors. And like I said, we were going to make like a basement for Willow to live in. Like the show. Okay, looking good. Alright, so let's probably get into this so making a basement entrance for willow we just need to find like the ideal place i mean we could put it like right here too bad i can't put it in this little space that'd be kind of funny or like right here i don't know can i i guess we gotta test it okay let's see you find our little stairs okay so to match these stairs actually i'm not even gonna try to match the stairs i'm just gonna go for it I think that's kind of like similar, but yeah, it's kind of because this is to the basement. Hmm. Could also do like this because that looks a little bit basementy. Okay, I think to start actually, if I'm remembering correctly, is I need to make like a room down here. So let's make some walls. There we go. Okay, wait a minute. Alright, so I'll try... And we can always change this later. What the heck? What is going on here? It doesn't like that. Okay... Let's try placing this wall first. Oh, okay, house item was moved. I don't want that. Can I place a freaking wall anywhere? Brother? <laughs> that me being like, yeah, I'm gonna make a, a, a room down here and it won't let me. That's ridiculous. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Maybe it just needs to be, like, small? I don't know. That would be fitting, though. Okay, it's working right there. So maybe it just needs to be... What the frick? How small can this room be? Bro! Yeah, le let me make a big basement, damn it! <laughs> That's weird as hell! Uh, I guess Willow's gonna live in a very, very tiny room. We'll make it work. Mmm, glorious basement room. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a closet! Are you kidding me?! What the fudge is this?! A room for ants?! Why?! Game! What the fudge?! That is so weird. I'm like kind of mad right now. 
I guess they have like the tiniest basement known to man. And it still said that it's moving stuff from the from the upstairs. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? At this point, I guess we're just gonna move stuff from the upstairs. I said I wanted to make a freaking basement floor, and damn it, I'm gonna make a freaking basement floor. Even if it destroys stuff. No! Frick off! Come on! Let me make it! Anger. Consume. Okay, can it let me do it right here? It is being really weird. I don't I don't know what's going on, guys. Frustration. Well, we can't make a freaking basement floor like this. Now can we? I thought it would work. I I guess she gets this. Okay, I don't even know what the hell's going to fit in here. I guess it'll just be hilariously small. F. Alright, let's see here. It's gonna be, like, big enough for a bed, and that's it. Yeah, baby! <laughs> We're gonna have to do a ladder at this point. Ugh! I'm screaming. Oh my god. Okay, well, whatever. I tried. I really did. Hopefully it'll just let me have my ladder. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, this is... No, what even is this? What is this? Outside? Ugh! You just couldn't let me have my dreams, could you? You gotta be freaking kidding me, bro! Okay, there. <laughs> wow, it's it's glorious. Look at this this little basement room. I don't torture my Sims. At least I don't make it a habit to. This is not looking so great. It's fine. I, I guess we're fine. Oh well. <laughs> okay. It, it's not much, but it's what I promised, and that's what's important. I said there'd be a damn basement room, and there's a basement room. Okay, wow, that- mm, in the void, too. That's fitting. Okay, oh, and I need to assign Willow to it, obviously. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me put a basement under here. I tried. I don't know what's going on with this house. Maybe it's got some demons that, that live here or some shit. <laughs> that are preventing it from happening. Okay, great. <laughs> At least Willow has a place to sleep. Okay, I love what they did here. There's like little stars on the, the hedges. There's these beads. Okay, I feel like we need a bigger bed than that. So we're going to switch that out really quick. Of course. I might just have to get rid of the little chair. I don't know, I kind of want a bigger bed, but I mean, it's fine. And I mean, Draven is just a teen. Okay, let's get her something dark purple. And something really nice. Something like that. Are you kidding me? You were letting me put, like, a little bed there before. Or there was a bed there before, whatever. Okay, very finicky about the, the space allowance, I guess. Rar, okay. Alright, alright. We'll change up this room. Is there like no room to freaking put anything? Bro, where am I- where am I supposed to f Oh my goodness, okay. I do like the- the mirror. That's a nice little touch. Okay, now we should be able to place a bed there. There should be enough room. Come on. <laughs> okay. I want something that's like dark purple. There's nothing dark purple. This is dark purple. See, that, that matches more. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. I don't care. 
You're gonna have a full- What the f- <laughs> Wow. Okay. Fine. Fine game. Be like that. Okay, we at least need something that looks fancy. Oh, there we go. There's a purple bed. Yes! Alright, finally. Thank goodness. I was getting nervous. Okay, good enough. They have a lot of these little crystal balls everywhere, I'm noticing. I think it's time to go back into the edit mode and make Aunt Harley and Avalon, even though there's, like, no room for them in this freaking place. <sighs> Ugh. But oh well, well, we'll make it work. Actually, before I forget to, we should also give Zombie a bed. Let's get Zombie all set up before we move on. Okay, so let's give Zombie a little mint bed. If I can find a place in this freaking place. Is there any room in Draven's room? Yes! There we go. Red looks good. Okay, now we need a litter box. Otherwise she'll be mewing out for it all the time. Hmm. I don't know what matches the house. I guess we haven't really been doing it by that, but whatever. Oh my gosh, that is a tiny as frick bathroom. Ugh. That is, that is a bathroom that is too small to piss in. Okay, so there we go. I guess that she'll just be kind of stinking it up over there. That's a very tiny bathroom. That's a very tiny bathroom too! Sheesh! I don't think I can fit anything in there. Why, why are your bathrooms so freaking small, bro? I don't understand. Yeah, I should also add, like, some scratchy posts. Okay, where the frick? Okay, there we go. Scratchy post. I feel like in this house, there would be more like a stick. Like, I feel like that makes more sense. Kind of the aesthetic of the house leans more stick up in here. So, <laughs> we're gonna do that. Give me a place for my stick. There, there is no place for sticks in this house. I mean... That works. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do I even dare? Yes, I do. What's more important? My pet having a place to, to chill or looking at myself in the mirror? It's a tough one, buddy. Frick, I don't know. Or do I have a place for my clothes? Hmm, some tough choices are being made. Guess I could... Oh my god, there's no room in this house. Well, let's put it there. Like, that's zombies' little balcony room, I guess. <laughs> we'll give her some toys. Just kind of put it out there. Yeah. Oh, that's looking, that's looking good. Okay, I think that about covers that. Now that we've taken care of them, we can make Aunt Harley and Avalon. <sighs> okay, so I'll have to try that with the plant. But I kind of like the plant on the ceiling. I think we got a good bed that goes with the plant. Okay, so we should also move Moon out, but it's like, do I do that first? Oh well, we're just gonna go for it. Queen of Reginale. All right, time to make Aunt Harley. Benazza Shibe. Okay, so Aunt Harley is an adult. All warming. Okay, there we go. And, hmm. All right, let me grab the Aunt Harley figure. She has, like, bright green eyes. Okay, do we make Aunt Harley just a basic human? Yeah, she's, like, a basic human. That's That works. Okay, so bright green eyes, first of all. 
Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do the white hair. Okay. We need to get just the right hair for Aunt Harley, though. Okay, yeah, I like I like this like puffy, shorter look. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hell yeah. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, there you go. Alright. <laughs> she loves eating food, so... Let's see, Master Chef, Master Mixologist. Okay, let's see. What do, what do we want to do for Aunt Harley? She wants to be swimming in those fat stacks. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Nature. Man, too bad that you don't have just, like, motorcyclist. She does care a lot about her family. Let's see. Popularity. I think, I think, yeah, Harley's kind of a party animal. We could do that. That's kind of fun. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Huh. Yeah, boy, yeah. Uh... Huh. I don't know. Keep it simple. <laughs> oh, bamboza. Hmm. Uh, oh. Retro. Babu. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then we'll just have her dislike everything else. Actually, you know, she. I don't know. Would she like romance? Yeah, maybe. Maybe she would like that. Uh, okay, there we go. Please. Huh. Yeah, boy. Uh. Huh. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I could see Aunt Harley huh. gaming. Uh. Uh. Huh. Hell yeah, huh. get those gains. Hmm. Uh -huh. Gardening. Let's see. I could always just keep some of these plank. Huh. Huh. Uh, Bonu. Okay, there we go. Oh, All right, I would say, ooh, this is a tough decision. Okay, let's take a look. So definitely foodie. Okay, let's see. Active perfectionist slob, kleptomaniac. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think she is very family oriented. I would maybe I would put like amb ambitious or hot headed. Especially when she's like, you know, she's ready to beat people up, like that's kind of her thing. I you know, I don't know, I might just do that. Also, she could just be self-assured instead of family oriented. Like Aunt Harley has like the confidence of a god. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm kind of feeling that. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we got hot-headed foodie and self-assured. Okay, in terms of... Let's see here. Okay, I'm looking... Uh -huh. Hmm... Like, bruh. Okay, you know what? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. And then let's see. Yeah, we got the hair. Let's just do some makeup right now while we're here. <laughs> I kind of like this neutral makeup she's got going on, though. I think it's nice. Okay. Okay, I kind of need like a, a little darker, I think. Hmm. This is kind of fun. The two shade. Alright, there we go. 
Okay, she feel. I feel like she needs like a like a like a jacket, like a motorcycling jacket. But maybe we'll save that for like the hot, the sorry, the cold weather look. That's what I meant. Okay, let's see. Then again, I kind of like just the idea of doing the jacket is like her, you know, default. Hmm. So many good choices. <sighs> Frick. Let me scroll through here. I need like the like like yeah like a jacket that works. Okay, okay, this is kind of badass. You know what? What colors do they have for this jacket? A <laughs> pink jacket. You know what? Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, those are mm, not quite it. Kinda I kinda like the ripped up jeans. I don't know why. I just think those are kind of fun. And then for shoes. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. Kinda like some boots. Yeah, it's looking it's looking hot. Okay, and she also needs like sunglasses because like she's always wearing her sunglasses, you know. Let's see what looks the most like the sunglasses. I kinda like these, those are fun. Her sunglasses are usually either red, green. Wait, is it green? I think it's- no, it's like a pinkish red, blue, and purple are usually the colors of her sunglasses. I don't know where green came from, but I'm sure she would look very good with green sunglasses. That is not something that this woman would ever wear. <laughs> I'm kind of digging, like, putting some pink on her. It's- I think it's cute. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. Okay, let's see. She gotta- she gotta be in stuff that she looks like she's about to kick someone's ass, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is, like, her- like going to work formal outfit. Let's see. She doesn't. I, I don't. Okay, you know what? We'll just go with something. Do you have some pink? Good enough. <laughs> Athletic. Alright. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Actually, I do kind of like the bright pink. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. Hmm. I've noticed, at least when I've been playing The Sims, they like to wear their sleepy time outfits quite a bit, so... Gotta get something good. Let's see... This is kind of nice. I... <laughs> I, I just love these little patterns, those are fun. Ooh. Yeah, that's very pajama-y. The, the fuzzy bunny slippers are so cute. Okay, there we go. Let's go with some classic white ones. Okay, so party outfit. It's gotta be a jacket. Okay, that is... Mm, that is hot. Let's go. I 
think for her party outfit too, she's gotta have some shades. Okay, there we go. I don't even know when we'll see the said party outfit, but... <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, swimwear. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, summer time outfit. Oh! I don't know, fam. None of these really are giving me Aunt Harley, but I guess we'll just go with this for now. Okay, and now we need to get her like a like a jacket. Oh, wait, that's a ripped up jacket. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I think it's, it's probably fine. Yeah, you know what? Good enough. <laughs> and then, of course, we gotta end with putting on some fingernail polish. Okay, so she would have, like... You know what? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, cool. There we go. So there's some Aunt Harley action for y'all. Harley Chopper. And yeah, I think we... I think we got everything in adult. Let's make sure the voice is good. Oh, Lava! Heffa droid! Amoeba Shyla! <laughs> Yumble Aragaba! Yeah, you know what? Actually, I want to try some of the other... Yep, it's a mix! Nebor from Okoza. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking that one. Let's just go with that. Oofra. Now, we're going to make Avalon. So, another play with genetics. Okay, Harley plus unknown parent, teen. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll just work with this. Okay. Alright. I kind of... Yeah, okay, so for for Avalon. Hmm. Well, first of all, we gotta change her eye color. Okay, so let me grab Avalon. So she's got like these bright blue eyes that are a little bit darker. Yeah, I think that's good. And then the hair would be the same as Aunt Harley's. I'm just not digging that hairstyle for her. Okay, let's see. I mean, I could kind of see that one. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't know, are we feeling this hairstyle, guys? Like, I think it's fine. I mean, you know, because Avalon's one of the Angoras. She kind of has bangs. She has, like, the shorter hair. Like, I think it works. Okay, so Avalon also is kind of like her mom, where she has, like, the jacket. Okay, where's the jacket? Oops. Alright, let's see. Jacket. Jacket. Suit jacket. Nah. Okay, there we go. Something. Hey, girl, get your pants on. <laughs> okay, maybe we need something that shows her hair, though. Ah. Well, that's different. <laughs> that's kind of fun. I do like this too for Avalon. Okay, so she wears green. She has her little green scarf, so maybe we need to find her something that's green. Ah. 
Okay, something green. I think her hair is pretty short. Like, yeah, it could be shorter. She does have the shaggy, like, Angora hair, though, so... I mean, this is nice. It's got kind of the, the jacket thing going on. Okay, whoops, I'm trying to get this. Okay. Something like that. Alright, so let's see. What style of hair... I guess this is a medium. Yeah, I think I'm I'm liking this this hair for Avalon. I think everything else is just a little bit on the short short end. Oh. This one would work too. Because it's kinda shaggy. But otherwise I would probably do this one. Okay, let's see. Let's change up the necklace. Hmm. Do we have like a shark tooth? I feel like there should be. Where in the frick? <laughs> Either I'm scrolling over it or I don't see it. This is kind of fun. Like this like key look. That actually is probably even better than a shark tooth necklace here. Yeah, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? You like that better than like shark tooth? Here it is. There's the shark tooth. And then here's the key. The key to all things. Mm. Okay. In terms of makeup, I feel like she kind of just doesn't mm. wear too too much makeup unless it's like more of a special occasion. Even is that? <laughs> I can't even see it. A little ring, a pearl. I kind of like this. Okay, we'll go with that. What was bright green? Okay, something. Oh, this is kind of fun. A little frilly. Okay, for athletic. Ah. Okay, and then bottoms. Actually, let me change the hat really quick. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. This is this is an interesting look. It's kind of fun. Okay, let me see what else I can find. I do like the kind of like the jackets for her. Would you wear sparkles? Hmm, debatable. This is super cute. I think I remember getting that for Ivy. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay. <laughs> I do like this outfit too, that's fun. I mean, this is the party outfit, so it can be a little bit... Yeah. Alright, there we go. You know, why not? We're just, we're just going with it. Okay, and then for cold... Ooh, that is fancy. We'll just have her match her mom. Yeah, I think that's good. Also, I like the piercings on our, on like Avalon. That looks good. Okay, I think uh -huh. we're good. Um, let's go with this for now. Actually, before I I say yes, I gotta give her her stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so Avalon, she's kind of athletic, so let's just... Yeah, why not? Bodybuilder? That's, that's, that's great. That could be fun. Let's see what else. Real sporty, I guess. <laughs> Uh huh. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay, now I remember she really liked like heavy metal, but they don't really have like heavy metal as a thing here. Come back here, I'm not done with you. Okay, huh. she likes a lot of these things. Yeah, right. huh. Oh yeah, she would love video gaming. Huh. I guess everybody you likes know. video gaming in this house. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we got cheerful, childish, clumsy, erratic, gloomy, creative. I'm trying to think what would... We got channel Avalon, so hmm. She we could put active. We could put outgoing. Then again, she's kind of I don't know about outgoing. This doesn't need to be kind of a geek. <laughs> oh no, she's the gamer girl. <laughs> yeah, she she could be a geek. I think she could also be a foodie like her mom. Okay, let's see. Loves Outdoors could be one. Hmm. Erratic's kind of fun. That's when a sim talks to themselves. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? What should be the third thing? Should I just put active? Should I put, like, perfectionist? Hmm. What she, what she give you guys? Like, what's the, what's the vibe? Ooh. Oh, actually, she's a teen. We don't need to do a third one. We're done. <laughs> she's a teen. We're good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, let's go with it. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta move Moon out of the house. She's gotta get kicked back to the Hemlock household. Okay, really quick, let's also change the light color. All lights. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can kind of see like more of the accurate colors. Okay, now that we have Avalon and Aunt Harley, they're entering in. They're moving into this joint. They go straight for the fridge! <laughs> That's so real of them. And we gotta have Aunt Harley cook her first, like, burger cake. I guess they could cook together. Yeah, let's do it. Cook together. A little hamburger cake. Yeah. Anytime now. Where are ya? Oh, they're- uh, you guys are trying to commune with the dead? That's Draven's thing, but okay. <laughs> See, he's starting them off right with their little hamburger cake. Ah, <laughs> I guess these two will be doing a lot of cooking. <laughs> if I was put down into the universe, the first thing I would do would <laughs> go to the fridge to look for a snack too. Real! Yeah, I, I feel that. This is a nice little kitchen. It's very cozy. Yeah, make your burger cake. Then we can speed them along. Yeah, gotta have a good conversation. Add some zombie to the mix. <laughs> Just a dash of zombie for the hamburger cake. Perfect hamburger cake. How long does it take to cook? My goodness. There we go. Yay! Burger cake! It's born! Now we can all eat it. 
Jarba! Oh, nay! Come get your burger barn, it's here! <laughs> Made myself. I don't know where everybody is. Yeah, grab that burger cake. Go for it. Look at that, it's just a little, little cheeseburger guy. So cute. Alright, let's get Moon out of here. Oh, she's asleep. We gotta, we gotta let her finish sleeping, I guess. <laughs> but she can do that over there. Alright, we gotta split from household and move. Yeah, I know. I know you're pissed. You gotta go back to that place, huh? That's right. Okay, we'll, we'll give her a generous hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so since you guys saw the hemlock household from the last sims part which was forever ago there's been quite a few changes made okay just move in i tried to match the dollhouse exterior from the show with like kind of the white with the blue accents the scalloped roof so let me give you a little tour while we're here. And I should actually just... We need to actually invite the Hemlocks first before I give you a tour. Or the Grimms, whichever. We'll have to... Okay, let's get Moon in here. Go to your house. Go. Get in there. Now we'll have the Strange Happenings peeps go and visit the, the Grave Matters peeps. Okay, so Drake... Actually, no, you know what? Yeah, we'll switch. we'll switch households really quick. I'm just trying to make sure that I do this the way I want to. <laughs> we'll have the Grave Matters people go over to them. There we go. Yeah, it's been so long. I did a lot of changes on the Hemlock House. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's crazy, guys. I do not know. I guess Aunt Harley is going to be here. I have no idea where Avalon's going to go. This house is smaller than I anticipated. I will be honest. Okay, so now we're going to travel over to the Hemlock household. So Draven's like, come on, everybody. Let's get in the car. Moon's already there. She, she moved out. Everyone is coming with you. Here we go to the Hemlock residential. It'd be really cool to, like, make pretty much all of the Willow Grove characters and have them scattered throughout the places. Because then they can, like, come over and visit randomly and there's all kinds of stuff that can happen. Okay, welcome to the Hemlock household. As you guys know, see, there's the white with the blue accents, like the little dollhouse from the show. I added some, you know, spooky touches because it's a bunch of vampires and werewolves and witches living together. I like how you can bring your cat and you're just like, come on, kitty, let's go. And then the zombie's like, F this, I'm out. But okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so now we gotta go knock on the door like normal people. Hopefully they'll let us in. <laughs> the zombie knows that they're vampires and werewolves and witches here. She doesn't want to F with that. Great, now we gotta go introduce ourselves. Okay, so there's Valkyrie. Have a nice little friendly introduction. Actually, more- <laughs> Well, you know what? Well, this is The Sims. This is like an alternate universe. We're just gonna have them have a nice, normal introduction. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on? I don't know. Yeah, so we have our little our little guys just kind of say hi to everybody. Get all nice and acquainted. You may notice Trinity also has hair now. I decided that I liked I liked this hairstyle for Trinity. Whoa, everyone's disappearing. What's up with that? Anyway, <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the Hemlock House. 
Let's take a little look-see around. So here we've got our entrance way where you put your little booties and your coats. And there's like little coat racks. You can hang your hat. Then here's just kind of like the front room that has like a little fish tank. And they have a bar. Very classy. Back here is like this magical like sitting room with a crystal fireplace. And then here's the room for watching TV, so TV room. Then we get into like the different rooms of like the characters, but we'll we'll start out with like the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. And like I tried to well I did. I decorated the walls. Look at that. <laughs> I, I decorated and shit. So here's the kitchen. It used to be like opened up. Now it's like nice and free in, in this little room. And so that the vampires won't burn to a crisp while making macaroni and cheese. Which is nice, because we had a problem with that last time, I think. Also, the toilets weren't inside the house, and I made sure to put the toilets back inside. And then here is their little seance room. And then here is Nova and Drake's like little bedroom. And there's Andromeda. Which was the baby that they made in the last stream. It was like at the very end. Here is the bathroom. And then this is where we start getting into the characters room. So this is Valkyrie's room. As you can see, there's like lots of scratches all over the walls. Because, you know, Valkyrie rages out as a werewolf. Okay, I just have to have the partial on. So yeah, there we go. Little teen idol poster. Lots of hearts, you know, because she's into romance. And yeah, I think it's cute. Okay, next we come up here and then there's Trinity's room. So Trinity's just, you know, rocking out, gaming. I put the child because that's like the closest alien thing and then this looks kind of like a UFO. And then little robot kit. It's kind of hard to show everything. Here we go. There we go. So you can kind of take a look. There it is. Okay. Then this is going to be Orchid's room and Sabina's room. So eventually I want to make those two. So this will be their room. And it's split. Just like, you know, the light and the dark. Kind of like how they are. And I think it's super cute. I mean, there's like a little wolf on orchids and then like a little sheepy on Sabina so you can kind of see the difference in their personalities and then this is Ivy's room Ivy has some scratches on the wall because you know she's a vampire werewolf so she rages out at times too not as much as Valkyrie but you know and then we got her little coffin bed because she leans more to the vampire side and then Valkyrie's more the werewolf leaning side little bathroom here and then we got our little kitchen with some uh, dining area. So I think it looks real nice. That's most of the house. Now the final part is where Mr. Hemlock <laughs> like lives, I guess, most of the time when he's not with Nova. So you go down here, down these stairs. And this is Mr. Hemlock's basement. So you come in through here. And this is like his coffin and his organ because in the show Valkyrie goes down into the basement. He's playing the organ. And he's like, absolutely no garlic. Yeah. So, you know, you know the thing. And there's his little room. It's very snazzy and vampiric. And I also was inspired by Phantom of the Opera. So I added kind of like this pool that kind of spirals around that you could like ride in a boat. <laughs> to get to his little lair. And then you've got... This is the containment chamber for werewolves when they're raging out and wanting to kill people. I just kind of stick them in here so they don't kill people. Because, you know, that would be kind of unfortunate if they killed someone between the streams. And then here's the library. Nice little place to get yourself a book and then cuddle up by the fire and read. And yeah, this is the basement. I, I think it looks pretty great. <laughs> So there's the hemlock house, and it has evolved oh so much. Okay, now that we have seen that, we can go back home. Unless we want the characters to kind of just like interact with each other and see what happens from there. 
They could also do seances together, I guess, while they're here. Okay, let's have Draven do that. Commune with the departed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have the werewolf containment. <laughs> That's right. They rage hard in this game. They destroy everything. Where, where are you, Draven? Okay, you're down there? Were you swimming? She wants to do everything except the seance. She's getting a little candy. Come on, we gotta commune with the departed. It's time. Okay, I guess I have to lead her there. Did I forget to put a door to the seance room? That's hilarious if I did. Donna, da, 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 da. Yeah, I did. That's hilarious. Okay, I just have to add a door. That's okay. We'll go perform a seance at our place. And I'll I'll get a, a door in this place at some point. <laughs> it happens. These houses are a little bit, uh, you know... It's a big, big house. Sometimes the door gets forgotten. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. That's pretty funny, though. No wonder they haven't been communing with the dead lately. Have you ever done that? Where, like, you have your sims and you're like, Why do you keep asking for food? I keep telling you, go make food. And then your sim... It turns out you don't have a door, or you don't have stairs, and then they die before they get the food. And you're like, ah, frick, you should have told me. I don't know everything, okay? <laughs> it happens. It's pretty funny. And then you pray that you didn't save your game so you can just do a hard restart. And it hasn't been too long. <laughs> That's true. Okay, who hasn't gone home yet? Come on, guys, we're going home. We've had a nice good sniff of the, the hemlock house. I guess Avalon, where are you? Okay, almost there. Alrighty, now we're back. Okay, let's just go inside and get going with the seance stuff. We need to start leveling up Draven quite a bit so that we can summon the dead. Oh, I like these lights they've got. That's nice. Oops. Come back. Okay. Just, whatever. Just throw it there. It's fine. <laughs> okay, now if I could just... Bro? You won't let me? Okay, you know what? I think I see what's going on here. I think it really wants us to use the seance room that's upstairs. So we're gonna use that one. But I want it to be the little purple ball. Okay, yeah, because that's the seance table. So for 16. Okay, there we go. And then we'll also just put this lamp right in the middle here. No, in the middle. There we go. Okay, now let's see if it'll work. It was kind of working before, but now this should for sure work. I like how she's doing a seance in her bathing suit. It's normal seance attire. Palingo. Yeah, so she says a bunch of words, and she's seancing it up, and she acquires the medium skill. Well, that was a creepy noise. Okay, you know, I, no, we're staying up. You're gonna keep doing seances. Let's see, natural talent. Okay, Draven has a knack for this, and will gain medium skill faster. Nice. So we're, we're going to be grinding the medium skills so that we can summon Bone Hilda and do some cool medium stuff up in here. Maybe get haunted or possessed in a bit. Who knows? We'll see where the night takes us. 
Maybe we should have other peeps like join in. Okay, where's okay, good. You found the bathroom, thank goodness. Chilly, huh? Okay. Well maybe it's because you all are in your bathing suits. <laughs> I guess. Okay, where's Kitty? I gotta make sure. So uncomfortable. What's going on? Are you sick? Or are you just bored? I like how you can also talk to the pets and be like, what's wrong? And then the pet might sometimes give you a little hint. Oh, you're hungry. Oh, shite. I don't know if I put a freaking food dish. Good job telling me, zombie. I gotta, I gotta do that. Okay, food dish. So we're gonna get like one of these fancy food dishes. Hmm. Okay. And then we'll just put it somewhere. Maybe we'll just replace some of these plants. I don't think we need all of these plants. Erm? There we go. Okay, and there is a hamburger cake still, so you can eat that. <laughs> and then we can call zombie to eat. Alright, speed it up. Feel okay, come on, feed the zombie. There we go. Alright, good, she did it. Okay, probably get get out of zombies' way so she can eat. <laughs> Do you not know where the food bowl is? Ugh, frick. Um, we'll just put it outside then. Maybe she'll have an easier time finding it. Oh, there, there we go. She found it now. Good. So zombie's having a nice little meal over here. Looks like she enjoys it. It's like her first time eating since we moved into this freaking place. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that's taken care of. Um, do they? I wonder if they allow, like, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> I I don't, I think Avalon and Aunt Harley would definitely sleep separately. Like, yeah, they're mom and daughter and they're tight, but, like, I don't think they are gonna do that. Okay, so we need to figure out where to put Avalon's bed. They made this house really small. Like, this one doesn't have much room to expand like the other house does. Did. As you can see, like, I really did <laughs> make that house nice and big. Okay, so... Mm. Where the frick are you, Draven? Okay, there she is. Now, another option I have is I could make Damien and or Zero... What the fudge? Willow, don't freaking. D Willow, don't freaking. What are you doing? She's gonna die! Wait a minute. Outfits. Change outfit. What the frick are you doing? Are you trying to die? Go home! Get the frick home! Oh my gosh. Willow is freezing to death! Oh my gosh. Ugh. I couldn't let her die, okay? Okay, I saw acquired the logic skill and I was like, oh, was that from putting clothes on when freezing to death? No, it's just like playing chess or something. I thought that was funny. <sighs> Jeez. The sims on here get a little silly sometimes, I swear. That was kind of funny though. You know, this reminds me, there was a, the other day I had two sims in my other game going on a date and some lady just died in front of them and then death came. And it kind of like interrupted the date because they were bawling because some lady just died in front of them. And then it was like, oh, hey, let's be friends with the Grim Reaper. And then, you know, a yeah, pretty memorable date, though, to be honest. But it's funny how they just kind of sometimes just die randomly, you know? 
that's kind of part of part of the whole thing here. I must admit, I do like the layout of this house a lot, though. Even though it's very small, and it's kind of difficult to know where the frick I'm going to put Avalon, I still do really like the, the layout of the house. <sighs> Avalon, where are you going to go? Is there enough room for, like, a an attic thing here? Maybe? Hmm. It is time to test. Because that would definitely help if we could have, like, an attic. Okay, let me make sure... Well, that just makes, like, a weird... <laughs> top layer in the house. I mean, I don't... I mean, I guess it doesn't look horrible. Like, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. <laughs> Does she really need her own room? Like... <laughs> Frick. Uh, decisions, decisions. I don't know. Like, I could make it work. It looks a little strange, though. <laughs> what the F? Sims have no self-preservation. Yeah, you're telling me. It's true. Okay, let's see if I can delete this portion of the... Mm, but that's going to get rid of that. Fetch. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know. They didn't give us room enough to put a freaking like, little attic. I could change the roof. I guess. I could also make, like, a little miniature, like, outhouse out here. Maybe. To put Avalon. I could also just, like, stick her bed somewhere and just call it a day. It's kind of... There is no room in this freaking place. Like, where the heck? Because we have Draven's room, Willow's in the tiny-ass basement. Oh my gosh. She could live out on the patio, I guess. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> she could also be in this room. Yeah, I think I might just, like... I know this is such a nice, like, little dining area place, but I think Avalon needs a bed. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do that. Wait a minute, I kind of want to keep this lamp. The lamp's fun. We'll keep that. Everything else can go bye-bye. Sorry, your food's gone. Okay, now let's get... Okay, we gotta get Aunt Harley and Zombie out of here first. Okay, go go over here. Get out. Oh, wait. That's... Ugh, wrong sin. Okay. Go over here. I... <laughs> now we can do it. <laughs> Wait, I think I know why I wouldn't let you do the basement. The ground is sunken all around except for where you put the tiny basement. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, thank you for clarifying. That makes a lot of sense. That's fine. It's... it's whatever. Like... Oh well. <laughs> what matters is I made a basement room and I said I would and I did. Okay, so now we're gonna get a nice little bed for Avalon. And this will just be her little room. <laughs> okay, let's see in a little lamp or like a little statue or something. Huh, <laughs> bunny. That's cute. There's so there's so much. Like it's this game can take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours because literally there's so much to look at and it's nuts. So like, yeah. Ha! Ah, okay, what to pick? These pumpkins are really cute, but those don't fit. Fudge. Okay, you know what? Never mind the pumpkins. We'll just do like a, a cat. I mean, she's a cat. Oh, wow, there's a lot of room on here to put stuff. Let's see, can I put like a little lamp in here? Like a little tiny guy? <laughs> little table lamp? Guess I don't really need a lamp, but I don't know. I thought it would look nice. Or even like a little candelabra is good. Frick, that is a big candelabra. Frick that. 
Nope, there's... There's not too much room on that table. I wanted to believe, but there's not enough room. I guess she can just have a cat that's staring at her. I love these, like, skeleton candles. Those are awesome. This moth candle is freaking cool, too. I need to... I just need to slap this in here. Ooh, wow. Look at all these color varieties. I like that one. Let me see if I can slap that into Draven's room. Frick. Well, I can put it down there, I guess. I'd like it to be a little higher. Oh, there's a thing there. You know what? It's fine. It's good right there. <laughs> okay, so now let's get our sims make sure that they're they're eating and they're good all right draven is now pumped back up she can go back to communing with the dead maybe i should have okay this is kind of morbid but i could have had willow die and then i could have had draven bring her back to life from being frozen oh well whoops <laughs> that's okay <laughs> she has quite a bit of medium chip to like gain experience points before that but that would have been kind of funny. Yeah, this is literally she just needs to gain that medium ship skill. I like how she's on the couch. You have a room, Willow. You can go down to your extremely tiny basement room that I made for you. I, I can see why no one would want to sleep down there, though. Like, look at that. <laughs> that is depression. That's so bad. No, no. There needs to be a little bit more down here. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Uh, Project Beautify, go. Frick. Put a nice little candelabra in there. I, I might as well just slap the sad clown picture down there because that room is sad. You know what? Maybe I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willow! I, I can't help it! It's too, too freaking funny. Okay, there. Oh, and this picture is really beautiful. Put If it fits. I like how it only fits down there. Why not? Just slap it in there. Maybe we can put it right there. No. This room is too depressingly small! Ugh! Okay, we'll put some happy fla- Nope, won't let me put anything! Flip! Can I put more trees? Sure, we'll just kind of make it like a... Yeah, you know what? Why not? We'll just do that. Okay, Willow, come down to your depressingly small room. <laughs> Let's have her view the tragic clown. Do you, you really don't want to go down there that much, huh? Oh, it's probably because it's on this weird incline. She can't get there. Oh my gosh, you gotta be freaking kidding me! Okay, how do we get it so that she can go up there? Do we have to build another stair? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why she wouldn't go up. It all makes sense now. Damn it. <laughs> Can I just slap a, a ladder there? No, not even. Okay, great. She may not even be able to get in there. That's so funny. Uh, Freaking game. Okay, let's see if we can do anything. Whoa, wait a minute. What was that? What is... Oh, okay. Can do that. Um, hmm. Okay. So we need to somehow get this like sink down I'm not sure I've never really done this before with the sims like the sunken down ground and like changed this that's okay I yeah okay I can see what you mean now because yeah everything is sunken down and then this is the only little part that's like this big place where you can have like a little room that makes a lot of sense now frick how doth one getteth into the secret hideout? Or is it just like so secret that she can't get in there? Oh my gosh, has, has all my efforts been in vain? You gotta be freaking kidding me! Bro! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm cooking. Give me a second, I'm cooking. 
Wait, I'm 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 cooking. Okay, wait. I can I can put stairs here, but at what cost? But at what freaking cost? Um. Okay, hmm. I think that matches the stairs that are right here. Nope, no, no. Come here, come, come here. <laughs> what the actual hell? That doesn't even go anywhere. What the frick, bro? Ugh. I, I don't know what to do about this, folks. Okay, maybe. Wait a minute. Cooking. Can I put it here? No? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Can I shift it? No? <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm cooking. Yes, yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. That's all we- Yes, that's all we need! Okay, I think she can get down there now. I'm gonna test it! Come on. Come on, Willow, you can do it. Get to your secret hideout. Yeah, baby! I did it! Woo! <laughs> what costs 480 civilians, it looks like. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Mm, I love sleeping in the void and shit. Oh my god. Wow. That is quite the room you got there, Willow. And then when you wake up from your depressingly tiny room nap, you can look at the sad, tragic clown. Actually, you know what? I'll wait till she's awake so we can make sure to watch her do it. Like, watching the clown, looking at it. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's check in on zombie. The little zombie cam. Hi, zombie. What a cutie. You know, funnily enough, cats in this game can get pregnant. Maybe maybe zombie could have kittens. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? So far, so good. Zombie hasn't gotten sick, so we haven't needed to take her to the vet clinic. But then again, we, we've barely started. Like, this, this game is like a womb nugget. It's fresh out. Like, it's a very new game. I do feel like we need a different bed. <sighs> okay, let's see what we got. We gotta switch out this bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, can I kind of... What the frick? I guess they just want, like, one size or something. Damn, all these beds are too big? Okay, what bed is that? Maybe we'll just switch out the color. <laughs> Frick. Where are you? Yeah, I don't see it. I guess we're just staying with that bed for now. Because I don't want to really move anything. Wait a minute, I'm looking. I'm looking around. See if I spy it. So far, I don't. Oh, rustic dream bed. Yeah, we're keeping that because I haven't even unlocked it. Oh well, you're you're fine, rustic dream bed. You look fine. <laughs> the sad clown is just having a little e moment. Moment, they're okay. Okay, just just you wait. There's a surprise. We just gotta wait till Willow wakes up. In the meantime, we'll just make sure everybody else is okay. So, besides woohooing and having babies in this game, you can make your sims read, you can make them shit on the toilet, you can have them shower. So much to do. You can make them go on a date. Maybe I need to- okay, I need to go back to my original plan of having Draven get Bone Hilda so that Aunt Harley can flirt with Bone Hilda. 
Okay, we can commune with the dead with, so let's do... Okay, we'll let Willow sleep. Everybody else can commune with the dead. An herb alpness for an abe. Get it. Everybody's acquiring the medium skill. Okay, commune again. It's the grind. Don't let your dreams be memes. I think I read that somewhere. That's very helpful, ghost. Alright, Draven's had enough of communing with the dead. She went to sleep in Aunt Harley's bed. And now we're having the problem coming up of where the heck do we put Avalon? I guess we could do it like the show. In, in Grave Matters, Avalon and Draven sleep pretty close to each other, actually. So, I could just get rid of this mirror, and I could put a bed right there, and that would solve our problems. So, I guess I'll just do that. Because <laughs> we got a smallest brick house, and that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so we need the this one, and then we need to find something that looks good with the purple. The oh, pink is so cute. <laughs> Hmm. Oh wait, but we had Avalon, she has her own little bed. Okay, thank goodness, I just remembered. I got worried about Avalon, I care about my, my sims, okay? I guess I could put the mirror back then. If I say control Z, we'll just do it, nope. <laughs> no. Wrong. Okay, there we go. I had a moment there. Okay, Draven, I'm gonna assign you to here. And then we'll assign Avalon. Okay. And then we'll assign Aunt Harley to her bed. See, this is why we might need to make Zero or Damien or both. So we can, like, have Draven have someone to flirt with. Because that is her aspiration. Um, well, sorry, one of her traits, I mean, is romantic. So she'll want people to flirt with. Or we can just go flirt with some guy. At some place. <laughs> That works too. That <laughs> you were a merciful god. <laughs> I try. Okay, let's see. So now it's love day. And nobody to really do anything with. Okay, Draven and Willow are at school. Oh wait, sorry. Draven and Avalon, excuse me. Make Love Day flower cards. During art, Draven's class was instructed to create flower themed cards for each other. So do I create hilarious or heartfelt? Let's do heartfelt. Uh oh, sometimes burying your soul through services or revealing cards that are delivered to an entire class of teenagers isn't a good idea. So they didn't like that. Alright, let's create hilarious. Let's see what happens then. Who takes Love Day seriously anyways? Those kids with sappy cards were, well, saps! Not Avalon. Everyone who opened her cards had a good laugh. Now Avalon is considered the funniest kid in school. Who knew Avalon could be such a comedian? <laughs> gloomy lesson. Willow is gloomy. Gloomy sims often suffer sadness, which can affect those around them. Damn. Oh, nice. They're, they're friends. She's not chucking zombie across the room for stealing her fries. That's, that's a step in the right direction, folks. <laughs> okay, now that Willow is awake... Let's have her view the tragic clown picture. Okay, come come down to your secret hideout. Look at it. Stare into his soul. Man, she's feeling it. Oh, damn. She's crying. This painting fills Willow with such a profound grief. Legend says that if you look hard enough, the grief will spill off the canvas. And into the room. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun! Yeah, let's have- let's have other people go look at the tragic clown pictures. <laughs> We're getting emo tonight! We're getting emo in here! 
Hey, zombie, you want to go look at the, the tragic clown? Okay, zombies are looking adorable. I like how she's, like, so talkative. Hey, Harley, I think Katie Knight is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? <laughs> sure, why not? Go for it. Live your dreams, Moon. I mean, Drake did have a baby with Nova. Go treat yourself. It is love day. Okay. So, she's viewing the picture now. What a great love day, you know? For Valentine's Day, you look at a tragic clown. It didn't affect Aunt Harley as much. She's just kind of like, eh, whatever. It's fine. Also, while we're down here, I'm gonna just, like, put, like, a wallpaper on the wall so it's not, like, a naked wall. Okay. Alright, there we go. Da da da. Alright, nice. Okay, then. So everybody's doing good. I think... Should Draven invite over classmate Valkyrie? Sure. Why not? Yeah, at this, at this point, folks, I might just have to have Draven flirted up with Valkyrie so that they can, like, I don't know, feel good on Love Day. For Love Day, you need to spend a little extra time with one you are in love with or one you are falling in love with. Give flowers and go on a date. Oh boy, I think we need to take Aunt Harley to the bar and find her someone to flirt with so she can have the good old love date. Love day date up in here. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Valkyrie, come here. I need you. Okay, it's time to give uh, Valkyrie some flowers. I have no flowers. Well... That's that's unfortunate. Good thing that I can just buy flowers. Alright, let's see. Flower, flower, flower. We got a daisy. We've got a potato. Mm, maybe she'll be into that. Let's buy a single rose. Hey, Valkyrie, here you go. You can have a, a rose from, from me to you. I hope she'll like the rose. Hellnoy? <laughs> okay, is this the love day gift giving? Is it happening? <laughs> I love her. Fabu! Okay, it seems like she liked it, so that's good. We checked off that. Now we need to uh, flirt a little bit, and then that should hopefully give us <laughs> what we need. <laughs> oh, she wasn't into it. Darn it. That's that's too bad. I guess I should try on Ivy. I mean, she is one of my best friends, right? Let's see, do I have Ivy that I can invite over? Let's check it out. Aww. Nope. I need to Aww. I need to go get to know Ivy a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Travel. We'll just take him on over. Aunt Harley has acquired the charisma skill. Nice. Let's get a move on. We gotta go flirt with Ivy. <laughs> Time to riz up Ivy. We do what must be done to fulfill the the Sims' requests. Use the power of science to make a baby. Oh boy, that would be fun. I could also make Zero or Damien for Draven to flirt with, or, or unless you guys are like, yeah, just go flirt with Ivy. Like, who cares? <laughs> okay, we're going in. We're going in. Get in there. Where the frick is Ivy anyway? 
Ivy. Whoa, something's happening over here. Okay, let me just grab you. Let's introduce ourselves and then we can flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Suli. Suliva. It's like, hey, uh, how's it going? I'm gonna flirt with you now. I guess I should probably start slow. A complimenting appearance, that's that's fine. You look good. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that enough? I guess so. I guess we'll see if we can go on a date. Oh, oh zombies <laughs> desperately trying to find a litter box, but there are none in this house. Okay, so part of rizzing is we gotta say some stuff that's not just, you know, lovey-dovey. We gotta, we gotta talk about stuff. So let's, let's have a deep conversation. Ask about woohoo, no. That's fine, we're, we're good. Confess, debate existence of vampires. Yeah, are you real? Are you even real? Yeah, you're sitting in front of me, but like... Anyway. Okay, now let's try to see if we can go on a date. I like how he's just like... What, what are you doing, Mr. Hemlock? Okay. Ask about mess around interest? Whoa. <laughs> Alright, time to ask on a date. We did it! We did it, folks! They're going on a date. I didn't think this would happen, but here we are. <laughs> Where shall we go to a date? Go on a date, let's see. Um, We could go to... The Grimtooth Bar and Bunker. I don't know, we could... Maybe like I guess we'll, we're just gonna do it. Hopefully Ivy won't burn to a crisp. I think it's later at night, so we're good. Uh, f how you say that? Flutter mouse is a is German for bat. That was a fitting resident's name. Okay, so we gotta socialize with our date. So let's sit together. I think they look good. I think I think they're giving me Draven Ivy vibes, so that's good. Dag dag. Have oh, Sims God, become playful scances. at the same time. Huh. If I could find like a rain puddle, I know they could they could like jump in it. Me sniffing out for rain puddles. Where are you? We could always dance. That could work. Maybe I could say some jokes. Who is this guy? Who, who, who the frick are you? Can you see I'm on a date, bro? Ask a werewolf packs? Whoa. Okay. That's that's one thing to do on a date. Reveal your lore to me. Get this, Draven. Two rival packs with completely opposite ways of life. Slapped together in one tiny town. And they're all werewolves. Mark my words that Moonwood Mill is a ticking time bomb. You couldn't pay me enough simillions to move somewhere like that. <laughs> Whoa. That's intense. Okay, flirt with your date while flirty. So we need to get flirty. Alright, I got this. Uh, blow a kiss. So, so. Riz Master, activate. See why? Well, at least they're they're happy. That's that's good. It seems like the date's going pretty well. Are they are they getting flirty yet? Give you another rose. Maybe you'll get flirty then. Oh, uncomfortable. Uh oh, uncomfortably wet. Okay, well let's let's get inside then. Dance to some music. Oh, now she's flirty. Okay, good. Alright, let's see here. Give relationship advice? What the freak? Okay, flirt. That's what we wanted. Flirt while flirty. Yeah, let's go. Attempt to seduce your date! 
These are teenagers, bro. What the fudge? Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um. Ask about romance. I wasn't intending for this to be such a spice date. Can't we just have like a normal like? Hey, you know, you look nice. To kind of like a you know just just a normal date. Where did this have to come in? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Have as soon as we become playful. Okay, where can I become playful? I feel like if they dance, they'll become playful. That's my guess. I can't control Ivy, so um, I guess I'll just say dance together. Go over there and dance with Draven. Come on, do it. Also, we need to get home in time so we can get Aunt Harley a date. Not everybody's gonna be able to get a date. Unfortunately for uh... I, like, I can only choose one other person. Actually, I'll let the chat decide. Who should we try to have go on a date after Draven? Should it be Avalon, Aunt Harley, or Willow? Okay, chat, vote. Oh, frick, there's a freaking werewolf. Werewolfing all over the place in front of our date! Can you, like, not, bro? Great. Go dance! I, I told you two to freaking dance! They won't listen to me. Okay, I guess since we're... Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I gotta tell a joke now. Hopefully that'll make us playful. Okay, one second. Let me, let me see. Actions. Mischief. But I don't want to do anything that'll make her sad. So I think I'm kind of stuck here. Great, let's try to console each other. Hey, are, are you okay? I know that there's like some guy with the rage of a thousand suns by us on our date, but like, are you good? I'm just wet. I'm like a wet sopping mop. <sighs> the things this game has you do. All in the name of, of getting that date achievement. Oh gosh, no, not the howls, frick. First kiss? I don't think they'll be very comfortable with that, but we'll try. Yeah, they're not comfortable enough for that. <laughs> wow, this is going great! We need to get the frick out of here, they just don't want to move. Repair? Okay, I guess. Draven, move! Get- okay, let's get- Okay, I know you want to run away, but just go the frick to the jukebox, I pro- Oh my god! Werewolves, stop! Okay, you know what? I, uh, good, good. Let this date be over. It wasn't going well anyway. Let's get out. At least- okay, what was important here is we got the love day date achievement. That's all we needed. Thank goodness. And that's why we're just friends. <laughs> He's just standing there filled with rage! Okay, so you guys are voting for Aunt Harley? Alright, let's 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 go have Aunt Harley raise somebody. It's her time. Yeah, all, ugh, all these werewolves ruining the vibes. Ugh. Damn. But first, let me make sure that they don't... Oh, gosh. Love day's over. Oops. Okay, don't look at that. At least Draven had a good love day. <laughs> That's what matters. I'll still have Aunt Harley try to go find somebody. But first, they definitely... Well, she's good. She's going to bed. Maybe we'll try tomorrow then, I guess. Everybody wants to go to bed. It is late. How are we going to find people at this time of night? Most people will be asleep, at least in the sim land. Unless you're a freaking werewolf, I guess. Okay, so everybody's just having a nice little nappy. Hopefully zombie isn't sick. She's like in the uncomfortable things. So we need to interact with her more. She's so cute. Look at her. You're not even in your bed, zombie. What the frick? <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. So now we just kind of chill. Okay, good. Raven's awake, which means we can get her medium ship up. That's what I've been waiting for. Wait, whoops. Okay, I just want to commune with the dead with myself. 
and Come on, let's have something interesting uh, happen. Seven, Talk like a pirate day? What the freak? That's that's pretty funny actually. That they have that in the game. What? Who are you? What is this? Hello? Is this some kind of unsolicited call? What if I came to your house and started banging on your door? Go welcome wagon some other ghost. I'm not interested. Okay, so casually does some communing with the dead and then does some homework. You know, as you do. Talk like a pirate. Arr, time to practice your buccaneer lingo. Ye be encouraged to speak like a proud pirate this day. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at guys. I can invoke the dead, I can summon Bone Hilda, and I can keep communing with the departed. Should we invoke the dead or summon Bo Hil Bone Hilda, everybody? What do you guys want? Tell me in the chat. Ah. Talk to the dead like a pirate day. Yeah. What a beautiful holiday. They really know how to spice it up in The Sims. Okay, Bone Hilda. Let me just pause my homework real quick and summon a skeleton. As you do. <laughs> Switch to seats. Walks with Bissaka. Halingo. Oya Galenk. <laughs> you did say you were going to try to find a day for a Harley. Yeah, we're summoning one! Fabinay Bivaz. Oh boy, here it comes. Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's a- it's a bone maid. Holy crap. Okay, let's ahoy me, me if that's their villain. <laughs> that's amazing. I like how Draven just summons her and then just leaves the room. Hey, Harley's gonna go up and and like check it out. Wow, I can't believe living Halloween decor came into our house. How cool is that? So, so uh, you so come well. here often. So so. Whoa. Tell a tale of the sea. That's so funny. Damsy, snow bay fleeza. <laughs> okay, now we're rizzing the skeleton Scorbus in our seance really parlor. Grasha arbidoy, arbidar. Yives, yives. Where the wind blows. Quaymar, be move reese, free ball. Harfin. I think it's going pretty well so far. Toki boo. Sika. Darka. I already ship it. Fella balloon. You know, it's not every day that you get to have a, a sexy skeleton maid come in and you get to riz the skeleton and have a, a date. Self-assured lesson. Harley is self-assured. Sims with this trait feel good about themselves and often experience extra confidence. Disappointing drink. Darn. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Where where did the skeleton go? You know, you gotta keep talking to Bone Hilda. Can I ask her on a date? I don't think I can, guys. Ask to rock boat. <laughs> oh dear. Harley has learned Bone Hilda's romantic orientation. I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that kind of relationship with you. But I would be happy if you'd like to be friends. No! We tried rizzing the skeleton and the skeleton has rejected us. Damn, that's 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 too bad. That's alright, we'll we'll have to have Aunt Harley find somebody else. But Bone Hill does a lot of fun. <laughs> the shiver me tempers. <laughs> <laughs> That's too no. funny. Kiss him more. No, come on. Sneak. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's check on zombie really quick. Okay, where are you? Okay, what's wrong? How are you doing? 
Do you not know where the litter box is? Okay, I'll get you another litter box. Or I'll move the one we have so that you can find it. Oh, where, oh, where should I put this litter box? There is not much room. Let's just put it in Avalon's room, yikes. That wouldn't be so great. Oh, hey, it fits right here in the kitchen. I mean, it's a litter box that destroys the stuff, so it should be fine. Okay, zombie, can you find the litter box? Maybe if I pick her up... And then I put her by the litter box. Okay, go over to the litter box. Alright, there. Now you should be able to use it, right? Look, it's right there. It's right- What the frick?! Draven, what did you do?! I think she put the litter box in her inventory. One minute. <laughs> Uh, girl, where is it? Where is it? Ah! Okay, it's in her personal inventory, I guess. Girl, why did you slurp that up? <sighs> Mamma mia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Poor zombie can't even find the litter box. How hard can it be? It's right there. <laughs> girl, go, go into the litter box. Please tell me she figures it out. Uh, it's right there, for I'm God's gonna. sake. It's right there! Yes! Yes, finally! Oh my gosh. You nubby. Uh. Okay, good. She's using the litter box. I'm so proud of her. That was scary for a moment. <laughs> Damn it, no boning phone <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Now she's playing in the litter box. Okay, good job. I think the litter box is hilarious because, like, so they go and then it, like, destroys it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah! We need a litter box like that in real life. That's great. Well, I guess it's time to go right off into the sunset and find somebody. Uneasy presence. There's something mildly disturbing about this whole situation. You know, that would describe Aunt Harley in Grave Matters when the demonic parents are doing their thing. Okay, let's go and find somebody. Travel. We'll just go alone, I guess. Alright, it's time to find Aunt Harley a date. Or I could make her um, Venus, which is canonically someone she does date or did date in Grave Matters. And just put her into a random house somewhere. Venus Cunningham is one of the psychic pigs, and I can make her so that Aunt Harley has somebody to, like, you know, riz up instead of just some rando sim. That's up to you guys, though. Like, whatever you guys think. So tell me in the comments what you think would be fun to see. Okay, so let's see if there's even anybody here. There's some guy. Oh, that's a, it's a girl. There's just somebody here. Young adult. Okay, here's another adult. I guess we can just kind of ahoy me, matey. It's not easy finding a date. <laughs> That's why you usually have to make one. Uh -huh. Who who is this? 
This is another bartender that's taken over. Ahoy me, matey. Get me a drink. Okay. You can make her. That'd be fun. Alright. Okay. Let's see. So we gotta go to manage worlds. Save and go. Well, things are going good so far. Nobody's died. <laughs> That is not me trying to jinx it, by the way. Okay, so now we gotta decide where would the psychic pigs live? <sighs> uh, for sake of time, I think I'll just make them somewhere where there's a pre-existing house. Willow Creek. Whoa, we could put them in the big house. Uh, Oakenstead Residential. Maybe I could... Hmm. Let's see here. What we got? This is kind of interesting. How many bedrooms is in this one? Oh, somebody's already in there. Okay, we'll just... We'll make a new household for here. Ha! Barner's a talk. We need a woman. Okay, so... Let's really quickly for Venus. Uh, I'm just gonna. She's she's yellow. The pig is yellow, so I guess she'll have yellow hair. So let's see. Do they have yellow hair? Uh, she has orange hair. I actually I think, but that's not quite the right color. She's like yellow with orange accents, I believe, and then she has like blue eyes for Venus. Okay. And then let's just give her like orange lipstick or something to be the accent. Well, I wasn't expecting to make Venus uh, today, but hey, you know, you never know what'll happen. Okay, we need orange. That's kind of nice. And then let's... Hmm. <laughs> okay, and then we'll... I want, I want like, short hair that's kind of, like, sticks up. Oh, whoa. That's kind of, that's kind of fun. You know what? Why not? Let's just do it. We'll make her clothes like yellow and orange. Okay, pants. Give me. Okay, so we're just gonna go kind of simple for Venus, cause yeah. So Venus is a Cunningham. In case you guys are not aware, the Cunninghams are psychic pigs. I guess that would technically make her a spellcaster. Fetch. Huh. Yeah, it would. I don't know if I can change her. Um, let me try messing with the... <laughs> the genetics. See if I can make a spellcaster. Whoa, child. Jump scare. Okay, you know what? We'll just we'll just make a new spellcaster. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> it happened. Oh, look at theory flop. Okay, we're gonna start over. Because <laughs> I feel ah, like the psychic pigs. Swabious. Okay, guys. Actually, I need you to tell me in the chat: Would the psychic pigs be spellcasters, or would they just be humans? Because technically, they don't have magical theory powers. Flop lit. Hmm. So maybe maybe it would just be a, a normal human sim. Whoops. I don't know. I think I think it would just be a normal sim. Okay, so she would be an adult. Uh, she.
Okay, we'll just do that. And then we'll just kind of start over. <laughs> I don't think it'll be too hard to get back. <laughs> okay, so she had the short yellow hair. And it was kind of like colored. There we go. And then she had the blue eyes. It looks like she already has it. Yeah, okay. And then just make it bigger. Okay. Okay. Okay, and now we'll just do like the lips again. I think I did like the split lip. Yeah, there we go. And she's already wearing orange, so that makes that easy. And yeah, since we're trying to be fast. Whoa, that's really fancy. Holy cow. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, how fancy. Whoa. Okay, I will say Venus does have like a lower voice. Lampima Ruskin. So we'll just kind of do that. Shorg. At least I think it's a lower voice. <laughs> More if I'm remembering you, correctly. Bosa. There's a lot of psychic pigs. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Ooh, I do like that. Ooh. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. And then the cold outfit. We've seen something, something orange. There we go. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Okay, so Venus, let's see. Mm. I want to take a little sniff at the stuff that there is. Purveyor of potions, how fancy. Master Chef, how fun. Hmm. Okay, let's see. She likes orange and yellow. Huh. We're just uh, gonna go really oh simple. Ah, oh, Babu. Oh, you have to may. <laughs> and then some activities for her to like. I think she'll have an easier time with Aunt Harley if she likes huh. some more things. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta go to the traits. Let's do romantic. Let's do cheerful. Whoops. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's just go with that. Well, I can't move into a furnished lot because I don't have enough money. Oh shoot, I can't move into the Cunningham house. I don't have enough money! That's okay. We'll just go somewhere where I can afford. I kind of like this little house right here. Furnished, yes. We can always move. Yes, did it freaking delete her? I'm gonna cry if it did. 
Okay, um... What? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... Bruh. I, I don't freaking know what happened. I think it might have made her, but then it just made this person. I don't... I don't know who you are! Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I just have to make a guy. I don't know what happened! It, like, slurped up Venus into the void. <laughs> uh... I don't know what the frick happened. That was so weird. If it got rid of her, that's gonna suck. Alright, we'll just make Una. She's, uh, she's an infant. Well, I, I wanted to have Una be born, though. I don't know who I want to make! Don't make me make any guy! Exit, create a sim. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we have... Let's see if, like, uh, Venus got lost to the void. Oh, there we go. She's there. <laughs> I don't know why it does that! That was weird. It, like, slurped her up and then it's like, oh, make a new sim. Maybe it's because it thought that I still wanted to make a sim at the other household. The big house, but I don't have enough money to move there, so it would, like, keep doing that. Well, whatever it was, at least we have Venus here. So that's good. <sighs> Phew. <laughs> there she goes, there she goes again. Oh, brother. Okay, let's let's go to Aunt Harley. Guess what? I've been made! Just so we can, like, flirt and stuff. Oh my goodness. Hey, at least we didn't lose Venus again. That would have sucked. Hooray! I am here. I am... I am... A person and stuff. Okay, go knock on the door. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that would be terrifying. Just go into someone's house and a skeleton pops out. Oh my gosh, zombie looks so cute! Okay, where's Aunt Harley? I need to find her. Is Aunt Harley not here? The frick? Okay, there's... Avalon? But where's Aunt Harley? Is she just like out jogging or something? I came to see Aunt Harley and she's not here. <laughs> Rip. I guess in the meantime I can just kind of introduce myself. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm trying to find your aunt. <laughs> Okay. Well, <laughs> I might as well go and see what Aunt Harley's up to. Okay, let's see. Where are you, Aunt Harley? Is she jogging? The flip? Oh, she was... What the heck? She's all the way out here. Oh my gosh. Hey, I put in the work. I was making that sim. And if I lost it, that, that is a reason to be pissed. <laughs> I like how she's just waiting out there because Venus is at home. Alright, let's go home. <laughs> I was at your door. Okay, now we can have the meat, finally. Alright, all right, here we go. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah, I can just walk in there. I'm not new. 
So, Venus is still here. That's good. Alright, now they can meet. Well, let's see what happens. We are simulating. <laughs> so, so. Simming it up. Holiday. <laughs> okay, so now you guys know the routine. We gotta just kind of, you know, give some heartfelt compliments, talk like a pirate a little bit, then we can go in for the flirt. Exchange pirate yards. I think it's cute that they have like a talk like a pirate day. In my other games, I haven't encountered that, so I think it's funny. Nubara. Hell yeah, acquire that charisma skill. Ask her the wind Oh, think well. Hmm, okay, now I think we can go in with the romance. So, uh, you single? Oh. <laughs> it's not like you were just made, like, a minute ago. <laughs> Boba Neff? <laughs> Yibs. Ooh, cute Pepta. Alright. Canathoy Narble. Let's Little go Shaba. in. Oh. <laughs> Compliment Mighty Fine Garb. Oh. Oh. Tanami. Singing a song? <laughs> yeah, sing a song so that I can increase my Riz power. I guess zombies not in the. I, I don't know. Something's not working for them to sing together. Okay, more flirtation. Here we go. Unfurl sails? What the f? <laughs> That's hilarious. Rezo Tharbo, da bishi. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Uh, Rogaba. <laughs> Keep your soul nice and comfy. <laughs> dag, dag. And then we're going in. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. Pick up. Ask to rock a boat. So <laughs> so. <laughs> Will be. I mean. Knock. Would she? Uh, I don't know. I think I need to be careful. Actually, no. You know what? She's got the confidence of a god. She's going for it. Rock the boat. What is going on? I don't. What did? What was rock the boat? Okay, well, nothing seemed to really happen. She seems to be enjoying the rain. I said just be friends. No, that's not what we're going for here. Okay, we, let's do some hold hands, okay? That's a good first step. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious is have Aunt Harley... Um, impregnate <laughs> Venus, and then Venus births the entire Cunningham, like, clan, tribe, and then basically, like, even the elders. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that'd be funny, though. The things you could do in The Sims. Make a flirtatious show. Oh, whoa, a oh, ring? But Girl, what? Oh my gosh! Whoa, stuff is going on. They're they're digging each other. Yay, first kiss! Oh, that's cute. All right, everything is gone according to plan, perfectly. Dag dag. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, we've done it. We got a date. Y'all and Nim. Oh, think well.
Okay, let's go to Oasis Springs and Rattlesnake Juice Bar. Da -da -da -da. Yay, we're not vampires, so we don't have to worry about dying because of the sun. Ah, uh, so refreshing to just be a normal human sim. What the f- what are you doing? Girl, what the heck? Who, who's this? Are you- what the heck? You're flirtatiously touching your arm and touch- the, and, and like talking about grilled cheese sandwiches? What the mother freaking frick is going on? Girl, what are you doing? Girl, we're on a date. We're on a date. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Menzu. Um. Dag dag. Okay. Let's see what they want us to do. Socialize. Yeah, that'd be great if my date would come and freaking be with me. That is. Hey, remember me? I exist. Okay, let's go sit. How dare you talk about grilled cheese sandwiches with someone else? Okay, uh, finally. I mean, I think it'd be hot for someone to touch my arm and talk about grilled cheese. Yeah, well, at least if it's like with your date, not when you're like freaking going on a date with someone, they're doing it with somebody else. Can you guys like sit down for like five seconds and like actually talk? I know you want food, but we gotta talk. Alright, let's talk. Unfurl sales? <laughs> I think that's so funny. Okay, uh, alright, 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 all right. Pick up line, and then... Whoa, the bed. Whoa. Socialize. Okay, let's see, we know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Scrooby Doby? <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. I'm gonna woohoo with you. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, I get it. Okay, discuss interests. That's that's a normal date thing. Fallabalom. <laughs> Yibs. Tell your date a story. Tell a tale of the sea. That works. Kiss your date passionately. Okay, where, where did said date go? For work. Is that is that Nova? I think that's Nova right there. She's just casually chilling over here at the, the, the bar. Good for her. Oh, there's my date. There you are. Okay, tell your date a story. Story, story. Let's see activities. What the frick? I don't I don't see it. What the frick? It must be because I I, I don't know. Where's the stories? I, maybe I could tell a funny story. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna save me. Just jokes? Oh no. Okay. It'll probably come up later. Hey, is that Mr. Hemlock? Hey, yo, there he is. Look at him. It's the guy. Okay, they're both furry. Offering a rose. Kiss hands. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, tell the tale of the sea. Is it there? Yes. Okay, good. We got it. We're doing good. I think Aunt Harley's date's going pretty good here. We just gotta tell that story. But what are you doing? Why are you talking to some guy? Talk to Venus. 
Okay, Venus has to go to the bathroom. All bets are off. Now we can talk to anybody. <laughs> shiver me timbers! Just some random girl just going up to her and being like, oh, shiver me timbers. That's... yikes. That could make the date pretty messy. So, let's not do that. Okay, let's check in. Venus is just going to wash her hands. Okay. Good, good. Okay, let's get it queued up. Tell a tale of the sea. We need that story achievement. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go sit over here then. Can you imagine being on a date and you just go over and you sit somewhere else far away from your date? Uh, come on guys. The Sims are programmed a little bit interestingly. Venus, pay attention to me. Okay, let's see. Tell a tale of the sea. Come on. Come on, we need that story. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Are you guys finally talking about the sea? They keep getting distracted! Okay, let's see if it's unlocked the passionate kiss. I guess that would be under physical intimacy, you know? Okay, I guess they need to work up to it. Our date's almost over. Frick. Okay, friendly. More choices, stories. Come on, let me tell you a tale of the sea. Okay, good. Finally. Now let's have the pa the passionate kiss. Come on. Okay, well, we didn't get passionate kiss, but it was still a silver medal date. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think we're good. Riled up. A hot-headed sim just can't keep their anger hidden. When they have a bad conversation. She's gonna beat somebody up. Actually, that's something that Aunt Harley would do. Okay, let's see. Who looked at her wrong during this date? You? Did you look at me funny? How dare you ruin my date? Where the frick did this girl go? It's all your fault that this date didn't go well. And you know how I feel about that? I'm gonna freaking yell at you. <laughs> okay, where's the fight? Fight! 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 <laughs> fight! Come on, Aunt Harley, get it! Get her! Get her! Get her! Get us! <laughs> She's like, I need somebody to, to punch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And Harley got her ass handed to her? Yeah, right. This game is inaccurate. Not true. Well, I'll be back for your your ass. And when I meet you again, I'm gonna beat you the, the F up. Your mother is a llama. <laughs> <laughs> There's no no coming back from this. Oh my gosh, throw drink? Wait, we're, that was hilarious. What's your problem? You ruined my date. Throw drink is so funny. Take a drink and throw it. Come on. Hey, this drama isn't my fault. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh, just splash the blood. Oh my god. This girl's gonna hate us forever. Okay, let's see here. Uh, brush off. Go away. I need to piss. Yeah, we gotta prioritize going to the bathroom. Good job. Yeah, she didn't get a burger on this date. 
and the date wasn't going as well as she hoped. She wanted a gold medal. So she had to beat up some random lady. See, that's the problem, like, in Grave Matters. Aunt Harley would be beating these people up, and they probably wouldn't like her too much. <laughs> wow, no shit. Okay, let's go home. I think you've... You've had a long day. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was funny. Usually when I play The Sims, I don't have them fight. <laughs> it's pretty rare, so it's kind of fun. Okay, go home. You need to work out. Get your muscles nice and strong, and then you can beat that lady up properly. Alright, we're back from our date. <laughs> you know, the decent date. And we got to beat someone up, so, you know, I can't be too upset. Okay. Yeah, she's going to bed after that. <laughs> uh, so, to anybody who has, like, played this game, or if you just consult <laughs> Google, how do you get yourself trained up so you can, like, beat up other sims? Uh, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Back from her date, Whoa, fueled with rage, and now pretty dazed. I think it's time to go stare at the, the tragic, sad clown again. What the frick? Why did you leave food down here, guys? Oi. Clean that up. Well, we do have Strange Happenings characters. We just started the Psychic Pigs. So there's, there's, a, there's a good amount of LPS Silver characters here so far. It would be really cool to, like, make Sparky and Chester, Valentine, etc. That'll probably have to be another stream, though. Because we are getting to know our Grave Matter Sims. Okay. Is it gonna happen? One of these days it might happen. Willow, you're gonna have to just come right back to clean up. Or not, I guess. Oi. Okay, here we go. I'm just, I guess I have to... Can I move it? There's no trash can to move it to. Ugh. Why would you bring your food down here? Damn it. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Do I just need to get like a little miniature trash can? I want to just kind of put sad clown images everywhere. I think that's pretty fun to do. Okay, kitchen, that would have a trash. There we go. I, Okay, we're putting this here so she can throw her stuff away instead of leaving it on the floor. Everybody view the tragic clown. It was a dark, stormy night when Draven decided to summon somebody from the seance table. Dun dun dun! Okay, let's see. Invoke the dead. Let's do it. Where the. Draven, where are you? It was a dark, stormy night when Draven decided to invoke the dead. Girl, go. Are you stuck? What the hell? What is going on? I think she glitched. Did she freaking glitch? Are you freaking kidding me? Bro. Ugh. Okay, I'll move your bed. Then maybe you'll be able to move. Can you move? She was glitched! Da fu? Okay then. Oi. Okay, let's get that bed back. That was kind of strange. The hell? Why why didn't she put it in? Come on. Oh gosh, come on. Alright, there we go. 
Actually, can I put it closer to the wall? No, I can't. Okay. And then we'll just kind of place the rose. And there we go. Okay, Draven, now that you are stu unstuck, can you please go communicate with the dead? Ugh. I know you're uncomfortable. I know everything is, like, not clean. Actually, I'll, I'll hire a maid for that. Then you don't have to feel so sad. Actually, I think that's under home. Hire a service. Scheduled maid. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're invoking the dead, I think. It looks like someone got out of the wrong side of the bed. Yeah. The glitches are kind of weird sometimes in this game. Oh, Zombie, you came to come see the dead invoked? Whoa. I guess we got the, the sad ghosts. Offer soul. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's attempt some communication. Draven, where are you? We're trying to attempt communication. Of course, the gloomy sim would be the first one to talk to the sad ghosts. Draven's too hungry. Okay, all right then. Oh, frick. The fridge is all messed up. There's water on the floor. Okay, let's have Avalon cook up a nice meal. Let's see, let's have a turkey dinner. Because we can. Hopefully she doesn't, like burn the house down making a turkey dinner but you know what i have faith in you avalon you can do it <laughs> <laughs> the homies watch their homies invoke the dead that's so true oh my goodness <laughs> okay draven go and freaking talk to the dead some more Okay, in the meantime, let's see how Avalon does whipping up that turkey dinner. Shishubi! Huh? Oh, sure. It smells good. Bobsini, Nabora. <laughs> and Zombie loves just being right up in everyone's business, but that, that's very her. <laughs> Okay, cook up that turkey. So far, so good. She's, she's doing great. You know, I've seen some sims burn to a crisp. So this is great. I'm proud of you, Avalon. You're doing it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I know it's just like a digital turkey. But I want some turkey. Let's go. Okay, are you gonna request a song from Zombie? There we go. Zombie, you should now sing the song of her people. It's beautiful. Good job, zombie. Sing it. You're a rock star. <laughs> Yay! She did it! Good job. Okay, let's see. Get to know. What's your about? Let's give her a treat. What a good kitty. What a good cat terpillar. Alright, grab a sir. Oh, actually, I'm gonna call the grand meal. Hey, You're mesh. Okay, everybody, come get some digital turkey for your digital mouths to go down your digital colon. <laughs> Are we bringing the digital turkey to the cursed potluck? Sure. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Digital turkey! Probably the least 
cursed thing there would be Digital Turkey. Oh boy. Okay, let's see who else needs to eat. Okay, you need to go to the bathroom. Why are you not going to the bathroom? Take care of yourself. Do you think God ever looks at us and, and whoever is up there or wherever God is is like, why aren't they going to the bathroom? They really need to right now. Or why aren't they feeding themselves? Or why aren't they going to bed? <laughs> oh, you can never eat the digital turkey? That's the true curse? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Girl, go to the bathroom! <laughs> Okay, there we go. Alright, good. Oh my gosh, look at Zombie being so freaking adorable! I love the colors. I like how she turned out. I think it's good. I was staring at the figure while I did it, so... Should be pretty close. Okay, group seance time. Let's go. Come on, everybody. It's group seance time. Get up there! Summon some, some ghosts. Alright. Draven has reached level 4. Let's go! Oh, she's floating and shit. Whoa! Okay, here we go. What, what things are going to be unlocked now that we're level 4? Oh, that was a creepy noise. Bethetasia Magra. We were talking oh. to a cat from beyond. Oh. Ghastly ritual. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Oh shit. Interrupted? How dare! Uh, By what? Being uncomfortable? Oh, you're sleepy? Okay, you know what? That's okay. You can go to bed. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Zombie is so cute! No matter what she does, she's just adorable! Okay, let's... Oh my gosh, okay. Now we gotta handle something. So, sleepy. Sad. Wants to go eep. Draven's eep on the wrong bed. Draven! Freaking go to bed on your own freaking bed! I assigned it to you! Go sleep in your own bed! I know why you want the big bed, but damn! This object will give nearby sims moodlets based on its emotion and the emotional aura is enabled. Okay, why not? I don't care. Let's do it. She's too tired, sleeping on the couch downstairs, to make the couch into a mood ring. I don't know! Ugh, okay. <laughs> me continuously canceling God's actions of trying to get me to eat so I can uncomfortably <laughs> continue watching TV. That's so real, It's it's just like The Sims. It's just like The Sims. When you play too much of The Sims, everything in real life starts reminding you of The Sims. But that makes sense. Like, wow, this really feels like The Sims right now. Ha ha ha. Okay, what's next? I really want to summon the tragic clown. Gosh diddly darn dang it. So if you talk to the clown painting enough, like you stare into its soul, sometimes you can summon the clown. And that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to make the clown come. Come visit us, tragic clown. Oh my gosh, and somebody freaking pick that shit up. Okay, there we go. Stare into the sad clown's eyes. The camera on The Sims likes to be really funky. Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh, is it happening? This painting fills Willow with grief. Legend says if you look hard enough, it'll spill off the canvas. Okay, so is it happening? Is it freaking happening? Romantic lesson. Okay. Well, it didn't happen. Come on. 
We gotta get this guy over here. We gotta be sadder. We gotta cry harder. Cry harder. <laughs> so, in one of my sims- Oh my gosh! There he is! It's him! It's the man! It's the- It's the guy! No, Willow, this is no time to sleep! It's time to riz the clown! You're depressed as fuck because you don't have someone to romance. Well, here he is. It's the guy. Guess what? I gotta complain about my problems to you. You are depressed. I'm depressed. We go together like peanut butter and jelly. Oh my gosh. Complain. Oh, wow. Aunt Harley just scooping it up. Yeah, good job, Aunt Harley. Clean. Do it. Oh, everyone's depressed now because the clown's here. Whoops. Oh. It's almost like it's what I intended. What is going on? Did someone die? You know, wouldn't that be funny as hell? It's like that sound plays as someone dies. Just kidding. That's not the death sound on The Sims. Okay. Operation Riz the Clown is a go. Try to flirt, <laughs> gloomily compliment. Kalarga. <laughs> Same. Shabula. A weeba canoe. No! Don't freaking reject us. Do you know who I am? Oh, Char. Do you know my story? I didn't think so. Oh, here she now. Happy I'm Decided to go rewatch Great Matters yeah. because of this live Aunt Harley Sim is perfect. Ooh, Thank you. <laughs> you baby Zayaga. Wixana Zarspa. I gotta train Aunt Harley Kevin so she can beat up people Bimbeb. successfully next Bimbeb. time. Jocking the game Fowlis, hasn't quite caught up, on to how day. powerful and OP Yano she Warp. is in a fight. Guess we all have to start somewhere. Okay, do we need to get this woman to the gym? Do the punching bag over and over until her fists are steel. You know, just for funsies, let's do it. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to the gym right now. Okay, um, I guess the zombie doesn't need to go to the gym. Everybody else can come. It's like, come on, guys, let's all let's all go to the gym. Hey, including my my enemy, this this bitch. I can't. I can't select her? Wait a minute. Hell yeah, there we go! Huh. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna beat Nancy's ass up. I just gotta train a little bit. <laughs> oh, she was practically just born in this universe? You're right. She does need to just train up. We'll get there. <laughs> hmm, okay, there's the movers and shakers, Jim. Now let's just punch the crap out of that punching bag. I'd make an at-home gym if that freaking lot we're on had more space! Alright everybody, I've gathered you all here today to kick some ass. Practice punching! Together! <laughs> That's so funny to me. I, I think it's also funny how even though Nancy is like my enemy... Wait, what the frick? It's right in front of you. Punch it. Bruh, it's, it's right there. What are you talking about? It's right there. Roby! Sure! Okay, I gotta, I gotta punch. Come on. Oh my gosh, Aunt Harley, frick. she not get to the punching okay we'll have her go somewhere else then you can you can work out elsewhere Ugh, cry rocking it let's go if you can't punch her in the face you can kick her in the face <laughs> you can kick her ass either way works <laughs> Let's go! 
Oh my goodness, yes. Wait. I can't remember. Did I make Draven dislike working out? I might have. Oops. Whoa! Someone giving birth to a baby over here or something? Damn! Okay, um... Draven, do you, do you dislike working- Why are you in, like, a towel? What the fr- Okay, maybe she took, like, a shower upstairs? Okay. I would not want to be in a public space with only a, a towel. But I guess you do you. Oh my goodness. Get it. Get those cans. You know, I think something we should do on this stream, obviously, is we should impregnate Venus via Aunt Harley, or Aunt Harley should get impregnated just for fun. I mean, since The Sims is beautiful and you can have anybody get pregnant by anyone. We could also have Aunt Harley have a science baby. We could have Willow have a science baby. The possibilities are endless. Okay, now can we go punch the frick out of the bag? Can you find the punching bag now, Aunt Harley? Push the limits. Okay, this isn't gonna feel good in the morning, but we gotta we gotta punch it out. Okay, look at the punching bag. Imagine it's Nancy's face. Here we go. What the- what was that?! What the- what the frick are you doing?! Girl- what the f- what the f Um... I, I don't know how to explain that. That was weird. Punch! 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 Do it! Release your rage. Oh, she doesn't like the music that's playing. So she's not feeling like punching. Come on, punch! It's okay! Punch it out. What the hell is that?! Harder! Trade harder! Do it! You got this! Come on! It's the eye of the tiger! Oh my gosh, this is- oh my gosh, help. No wonder she didn't beat Nancy's butt up. Oh my frick. <sighs> I'm face palming right now. You can't see it, but I am. Oh my goodness. Come on, Aunt Harley, you can do this. Well, you know, it's hard to train while your song that you hate is playing. So you know what? I think I can understand. Oh my gosh, you're filthy woman. I think we should just go home at this point. Get out of here. You smell like a sock. Wait a minute. Let me see something. I was going to be like, is there showers here? Because Draven was in a towel. Oh, there are. Okay, don't go home, I guess. Oh no, actually, let's get the frick out of here. The werewolves are out. Get out of here. Everybody, evacuate the dance floor. Okay, back to the grind. We're gonna, we're gonna go home and we're gonna keep seancing it up. How? Okay, come on. Come on, game. Go, go home. What is going on? They all, they're all home! Is this another freaking glitch? You gotta be freaking kidding me! What- what the hell is going on, game? Explain yourself! Okay, whatever. We're just- pff, We're gonna go to manage worlds, I guess. Okay. Well, that was, uh... You gotta start somewhere. Everybody's gotta start somewhere. Someday she'll be able to kick the crap out of Nancy, I'm sure. Alright, we're home, finally. Now we can say hi to Zombie again. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I don't think we've hugged Zombie this stream yet, so we should do that. Okay. Everybody get inside. Draven, it's back to the grind for you. We gotta get you the ghastly ritual. Actually, anybody else want to join in for the ghastly ritual? I think I think we could have some other peeps join us. Let's go. Get on up there. 
Uh, I mean, come on, chop chop, let's go. Oh yeah, she's hugging zombie, I almost forgot. Can't miss that, it's so adorable. Nice little huggy. Now let's go communicate with the dead. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Perfect. Now it is time. She's just waiting for her. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, she's just politely waiting for her to be done. How nice. No! Draven, come back! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One potato, two potato, three potato, four bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. What the? F okay, I don't know what ghost we communed with, but maybe a child. Draven, come on, let's do it. It's time for the ghastly ritual. Yeah, she's gotta have her calcium before the the ritual. Okay, get yourself comfortable. What the frig? Here we go. Woo! Fill me a frush. Okay, let's speed this up. Whoa! Holy! Ah! You know when you do a ghastly ritual and you you die and shit. Damn. Okay, well, Draven's a ghost now, so that's fun. All right, let's go do some ghostly stuff. Possess the toilet. Ooh. This toilet is now a hell toilet. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, nobody's here to see it. Because everybody's freaking asleep. Can I scare the cat? <coughs> Zombie, I'm going to possess the turkey. Oh, I guess I'm not. Okay, let's see here. Who can I possess? Possess. Do I get there before zombies are? Oh, wait. You know what? No, never mind. Okay, where is zombie? We got to possess something near zombie. Damn, you move fast. Can I possess the fridge? I, I guess I'm just gonna possess the oven. We'll see if zombie will notice. Zombie, I've died! I, I can't get up! I've fallen and I can't get up! Why are you in love with the fridge? Freaking cat, come look at me! Stop being in love with the fridge! Ugh, cry. Okay, well, come here. Look at, look at, I'm, I'm, I'm dead and shit. Ooh, can I clean up the? Yeah, hell yeah, let's go. Ooh, spooky ghost time, making the gross food disappear. Okay, let's see if I can pet. I love that ghosts can still do chores. Like, good for them. Oh, no, no, no. Zombies gotta take a shit. Alright, alright. Ooh, we can scare Avalon. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ghost scare. That's not very nice, but, you know, what else am I gonna do? I'm, I'm dead. Where the frick? Where, where am I? What am I doing down there? Go scare Avalon. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, it's me. I'm I'm just, you know, deader than you remember. Okay, I guess that's uh, about all I can do. Maybe I can possess a bed so Aunt Harley wakes up. Okay, possess bed. Nope. Damn it. I can't possess a bed when someone's in it? Disappointment. What are you doing, camera? Frick. Aw, oh, man, I really wanted to possess the bed. Make it gyrate so I could make the person wake up and scream. That's just too damn bad. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we could possess paintings on the wall. I can possess the shower to break. That's fun. <laughs> Ooh. Spooky. 
Draven has school in an hour? She's dead. I don't have anything in an hour, bro. I've only got people to torment with my ghostly ghostness. Haha, yeah. <laughs> just a prank, bro. <laughs> just kidding. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What else can I do with my new ghost? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, we're gonna break it. There we go. Finally. Yeah, look at that. I, I broke it. <laughs> okay, good. I've, I've really scared her. That's good. I'm doing good as a ghost. Like, I feel so accomplished. Can I play in the... Nope, I can't play in the puddle. That's too bad. Oh, I'm not dead anymore. Okay, so it was just for a time. That's kind of fun. You can just be dead for a while. Can you imagine if you could just, like, wake up one day and you go to your seance table and you're like, you know what, today I feel like being dead. And you're just like a ghost. Would anyone do that? I think I might try it. <laughs> It'd be fun to mess with people. Okay, let's see. What do I need? Irrational danger. Draven is scared. Why? Who knows? Privacy invaded. Okay. Can we use some food up in this joint? Alright, let's go crazy. Cooking another grand meal. I like to go all out. Uh, ham dinner. Mmm, yum. Alright, let's invite our peeps from the other lot to come hang with us. Okay, Aunt Harley, do you know more people that we can invite? I think a lot of them are going to high school right now, like... Yeah, oh, Frick, it's Nancy. Ugh, Nancy. Who gives a shit about Nancy? Cause I'm gonna punch her where it counts. <laughs> who are you? T oh, she's just inviting people. That's right. I immediately was like, who are you talking to again? <laughs> just some guy on the phone that looks like meat that you're stirring. Why are you stirring? Oh, frick. Uh, I didn't see it. No, we saw that. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. She didn't want anyone to see that. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's some of our guests filing in. I'm making my my statement with my dinner. There's Moon. Like, Moon from Strange Happenings. Just stopping by. I don't know where she's going, but it looks like she was going somewhere fast. Everybody should go hang out at Mr. Hemlock's uh, basement place. That place is sick. Everyone can go swimming there. Okay, everybody. Uh, we got this nice ham dinner. I slaved away at it all day. What are you- Girl, what are you doing? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? What? What are you- Bruh, you're putting- What the fuck? That is my dinner I made. What the shit? That was my food. What what the hell was that? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. She just freaking put it in the fridge as she called people to the meal. That was so freaking rude. <sighs> Cry. Alright, we're gonna switch over to the hemlocks and invite all the Grave Matters peeps once the peeps are back from high school. There's not really a point otherwise. I mean, there's always a point, but, you know, might as well have the whole crew back. That's like, what, four sims that would be missing, or five? We gotta move Moon somewhere else so that I can make Orchid and Sabina. Maybe Moon can temporarily move in with Venus. I don't really have the heart to kill her. Even though Moon's technically dead. Okay, we got the bills to pay. Let's be responsible adults and pay our bills. 
<laughs> okay, 3,940. You know, not too bad, not too bad. I think the Hemlocks have like 10,000 plus for their bills. Okay. Everything's going swimmingly. Okay, let's see. What can we do? I guess we can riz up Venus a bit more. Oh, shite. No. Uh, wrong sim! I gotta get on a Harley for that. Ask to be girlfriend. Okay, let's see if she says yes. That's a very Aunt Harley thing to do. She'd just be like, yeah, you know, let's let's do this thing. <laughs> okay, here here we go. It's the moment. Yeah, let's go! Passionate kiss! Let's go! Whoa. Yeah, let's go! They're together! We did it! We oh. successfully rizzed. Ah, <laughs> oh, is she going home? Well, that was uh, that was nice. At least they they're together now, so that's good. Now they can like woohoo all over the place. Good for them. Huh. I think I'm not sure. When do they come home? Is it like three o'clock? Huh. Okay, let's make sure that zombie is good. I'm impressed you. Zombie hasn't needed to go to the vet. Maybe we should take Zombie to the vet to get a preventative shot. Pets and cuddles are in order. Okay, you got it. Coming right up. Why, why are you just standing there and si What are you doing? Just staring at the wall? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you seeing this? What is going on? Just sitting and staring. Ugh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try again. How about just pet? Nice little pet. Okay. I think it's happening. Suna. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah. Aww. <laughs> Zombie already died and came back to life. I think she's covered. Yeah, that's why she has such good health in the Sims universe. The alternate universe. Yeah, this is definitely an AU. <laughs> Aw, cute. You're just singing the song of your people. I'm gonna go to the vet. Because I feel like we need to do something with Zombie. We need to give Zombie some attention. Okay, here we go. To the vet. Brindleton Bay. Vet clinic. Bada bing, bada boom! Oh, Aunt Harley's husband! That he should just be dead and be like a ghost that's like haunting the place. <laughs> I mean, he did die choking on a corn dog stick. I was considering that, just making certain sims who are, like, dead in the LPS Lover universe and then killing them in the game and then have, like, their little urn. And then, yeah, they could visit, like, as a, a ghost. Okay, we're not spaying zombie, but we are taking her in for a checkup. But at least we can see all the cute little pets. So there's this little guy. Bartholomew A. Biddlebun, Sr. That guy's sick. Stay away from him. He's sick. You don't want him to get the MLP infection AU virus. Whichever one that that guy might have. Who's this? Blue? Okay. Somebody pissed on the floor. Are you gonna do something about that? Do I need to clean the dog's piss or the cat's piss? Oi. What is Aunt Harley doing? She's just like kind of chilling back there. What are you doing? Oh, okay. I see, I see. There we go. Okay, go and sign up for the checkup. Finally! Yay, look at her go! Yes! 
Ooh, okay, pet checkup, nothing's wrong. Preventative shot. Ella. There we go. Yarp snap. Oh, nay. Hell yeah. What's the dib? Crying out of cuteness. There we go. Zombie is all clear to go. I do think it'd be funny if Zombie had like a kitten. I just don't know any other cats in this game. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, we're good. Zombie, where are you going, huh? She's infiltrating the system. Whoa, jeez, somebody's throwing up. She's like, hey, you wanna you wanna meet? Some people throw food, others scream. Scream for attention while hearts are bursting out of them. I like how you can like edit the places. I think that's interesting. I haven't really played around with that, but you can apparently. Okay, my work here is done. Let's go home. I think it would be a good time to make Orchid and Sabina. So we need to go to the Hemlock household and move Moon out so we'll have enough spaces for it. All right, cool. Okay. And there we go. Save and go to Manage Worlds. Now we're switching back to the Hemlocks. Okay, open it up. It's a pretty beefy house. No wonder it's taking a hot second to load. Come on, give us our beefy house. There we go. Okay, now we can do what I was saying, which is invite everybody to hang out downstairs. Also, we can age up our baby. We should probably do that too. But first thing that I said was to get Moon out. So we're going to move Moon to be with Venus. Um, just platonically. Nothing else going on. I mean, Aunt Harley and Venus are like, you know, together. So. Okay, here we go. And I shall give you another hundred dollars. <laughs> Alrighty. Now Venus is in Willow Creek. She's in this little greenhouse. Move there, move in. Yes. I will need to add another bed though, since Moon is here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. This is like very uh, minimal house right here, but that's okay. Okay, where in the heck am I even going to put a bed? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, Scoob, there's not really a place to put one. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'll just get one of these little baby beds. Well, it's kind of... <laughs> there. Good enough. Hide under the covers. Okay, at least... She fits, so that's good. Okay, uh, sign bed. And then we'll sign Venus. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now we can go back to the Hemlock House. And then we'll have enough spaces to make Orchid and Sabina, I believe. And then I can finally move them into the rooms I made them. Whoa, I love how Strange Happenings and Grave Matters kind of link together. Also, notice the raccoon in the first episode and Strange Happenings is the villain at the end of Grave Matters. That is not the same raccoon. <laughs> so, those are two separate raccoons. Uh, Ringo, he's not evil. Uh, he's just a student at Willow Grove High. 
And then the other raccoon is another character. But I can I can understand that like they're both raccoons, and so it might have been like, oh okay, that's the villain. But they're actually separate characters. But thank you. I'm glad you like grave matters and strange happenings. Okay, now we can let's see. That, that's right. I was gonna make them. Actually, I'm gonna invite everybody over. No, we'll do that after I've made. Yeah, we'll do that after I've made the other guys. I just realized I could have done the edit. Oh well. It's okay. Yeah, that's all good. No worries. I get it. Everything's all good. Okay, now let's just edit them. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's usually eight that can fit. So we're going to make two spell casters, and how we're going to make them is we're going to select Nova, and then we're going to say, play with genetics. And then we will make the two of them that way. Okay, so they're going to both be teens. Create her child. Yes. Okay, awesome. So... Uh, let's just get into this. Hmm, who do I want to make first? I'm gonna actually make both of them just to, like, see which one gives me more of the vibe of which one is which. Alright, there we go. So now we've got the two siblings. So I guess we'll make this one Sabina. We'll make the other one Orchid. Okay. Both teens, good. So... <laughs> love the hair, Sabina, but it's not quite what you're, you know, supposed to have. So this is pretty funny. Okay, Sabina. Ah, I love that hair. That's really pretty. Yeah, you know what? We should just go for it. Let's just let's just do it. I kind of like this little like what's going on. Like this is nice. I, I think she looks good. And then we can just kind of insert her into the world. Honestly, I think the outfits are fine. Like I don't, I don't really see a need to like mess with them too much. But I will add like a necklace. Is there any star necklaces? That's what we need. You can't even see it. Star necklace, where art thou? I mean, there's the moon. Okay, I do like this one. This is cute, but it's like covered. Frick. It's covered! Oh, I guess I can't really add a necklace with this um, the shirt. You know, that's okay. Let's just move on to Orchid after we get her aspiration picked out. Alright, so Sabina. Sabina. Okay, let's see. Joke star, neighborhood confidant, friend of the world. She's a pretty friendly person. If you guys remember the rest and pepperoni, she's like even a friend to like some of the people who are considered not like as popular. So like, she's a pretty generous, friendly person. So I'm just gonna keep it basic. Okay, romance music, summer strut. Okay, let's see. What does she like to do? Piano. Oh. <laughs> Rocket science and programming. Sure, you can like programming. Why not? Oh. Hmm. What do you not like? Sabina's pretty positive. I think. I think she just kind of likes everything. Maybe I should just do that. Just make her like everything. Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay, she's definitely a cheerful sim. Okay, let's see. What else is she? Outgoing. Let's see outgoing. Alright, good. Now, I do want to play around with her makeup a little bit. So let's do that real quick. Let's give her some fancy, like, eyeliner just for funsies. 
Let's give her some nice, like, lipstick. Okay, that's cute. Alright, let's just... Now let's move on to Orchid. Wow, girl, this is an interesting look. You got some stuff going on with your face, huh? I mean, she technically wouldn't, so... With, like, the sunken and eyes, at least. Let's see here. Where's the... Okay, the, the mouth area? Let's see, how do I... How do I get rid of that? <laughs> There's so much to do! Um, okay, well, apparently I'm not sure how to get rid of that with her mouth, but... Oh, well... <laughs> Maybe we'll, uh, we'll figure it out here. Oh my gosh, whoa! These are cool! Okay, definitely gotta go for, like, the goth makeup. Um, hmm... Yeah, I don't know! <laughs> and then we gotta give her the lips. How in the frick do you get rid of that? I'm gonna sniff around a little bit more. Okay, it's not there. Okay, normal teeth. Huh. <laughs> the way the sims just open up their mouths like that for you to look at their mouths, yeah. Let's let's take a look inside. I'm your dentist now. I am your dentist. Okay. Um Yeah, I really don't know how to get rid of this, guys. If anybody knows how, let me know. Okay, orchid. Oh my gosh, I love that hair. Swabious. This is cute, kind of having the, like, the, the mixed hair. Hmm. We could go for something real crazy, though. I want to see what we got. This is cute, the Elsa braid. Zaka bra <laughs> Ta best. I don't know, I kind of, the Elsa braid's kind of fun. Maybe we should go for that. Okay, let's see. I, uh, hmm. I, <laughs> I think it's hilarious how she Whoa. just, like, has this thing around her mouth that I literally don't know how the frick to get rid of. Why do you do this to me, Sims? Because, like, usually I can exit out. Okay, let's see. You would think you would be in this menu. Cheek details? I could give her, like, a badass scar, that would be cool. But she doesn't have one in the show. I feel like that would be, Zaka, like, bro. I don't know, like, Ta shown if she did. Yes. It's literally something on her face and I can't take it off. <sighs> Rip. <laughs> Maybe it's under, like, body scars? Nope. Like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh. Yes, let's do it. Whoa. Oh my gosh, so cute. Way I kind of like the purple. That's fun. Let's do it. I like how you can do the styled looks. Let's just do the styled looks. Yeah, I feel it. Hell yeah. Okay, let's... Let's go with that. For funsies. Yo, these styled looks are, are grooving. That makes it pretty easy. She does need to have, like... Some more emo makeup, though. Like, some more gothic makeup going on. Like... A lot more dramatic eyes. Mm -hmm. I need the. Stop giving me the cold weather makeup. I don't give a frick. I need the. Yeah, let's let's do it. Glarney, Julius. <laughs> that moment when you literally don't know how to get rid of the freaking finger on the mouth. I don't know. Okay, cold weather. Nope. Orchid, I'm sorry, I literally don't know. 
Oh my gosh, there's so many good lipstick shades. How do I choose? Guess I just have to kind of go with one. Vashni. I don't think it's a. Uh, is it a face paint thing? With the lips? I don't think so. It's gotta be under the face. Sparky and the gang have not been made of Sims yet. How in the how in the ever loving heck is it not under this this menu? Okay, I. It feels like it's like a like almost like a spellcaster type thing. Okay, here we go. Um, nope. <laughs> Me looking intensely? I, I don't know. Because I look at mouth and it's not there. That is... Mm, I don't know. That's kind of... Whatever, I guess she, she has to accept that she has that now. Okay! I think we're just gonna... We're gonna go for it now. Just make up her little aspiration. Let's make her public enemy? <laughs> Chief of mischief? That could work. Then again, I feel like Orchid would probably be about spellcraft and sorcery mastery. So I'll do that for Orchid. Huh. Huh. Uh-huh. Gonna pay! Mm. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Yes, sir. Was Yeah. Oh, that feels about uh, right. Uh. Uh. Doesn't uh. like comedy, but loves mischief. Uh. <laughs> huh. Uh huh. Gonna pay. Huh. Oh. Huh. Okay, let's see what else. She uh -huh. hates the guitar. Uh, hates children? That's so funny to me. Well, I guess we could go the Trinity route and she could be evil. <laughs> and then... We can also make her gloomy. Man, what, what a sim to be around, huh? That's wild. Okay, I'm making sure that I have them all done. Oh, pff, I didn't even name her. Oops. Orchid. There we go. Okay, and her voice? Yeah, that sounds fine. Sounds good. No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Why not? Okay. Best Good. Me. Uh, All right, I think uh, Orchid uh, and Sabina are done. Maybe someday we'll figure out how to remove the thing around her mouth, but for now, I guess, I guess she's just kind of sporting it, you know? I literally can't find it under any of these, and I'm crying because I I don't know how to remove it. It's almost like they they like made it so I I can't. Freaking game. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll just move on. Okay, so we, we were going to invite everybody to the Hemlock household. To check out Mr. Hemlock's little basement place. Yeah, I haven't made Damien yet in the Grave Matters household. I guess I could. Alright, so we're gonna have our little party downstairs, but first... We're gonna age up the baby. And we're also going to assign our peeps to their beds. 
So this is Sabina's room. Wait, no, not Nova, frick. They all have the same hair color. Okay, and then Orchid will be here. And then I'll reassign Mr. Hemlock and Nova. Just to make sure that they will properly go to their correct bed. It's time to grow up. Lab. Spring forth Andromeda. Yes! Finally! Okay, there we go. And now Andromeda is, is there and she's on the floor for some reason. She has really pointy ears! Whoa! I think we're gonna have to get a crib really quick for Andromeda as well. Might as well while we're here. Okay, let's get a nice looking crib. Something that'll kind of match enough. Okay, there we go. Oh, I should have gotten rid of the the bassinet. That's okay. So great. Now you can interact. She likes video. Sure, you can like video gaming. Why not? Who's stopping you? I guess technically I would be, but I'm not gonna. Oh, so cute. She's growing up. Napa. Okay, let's invite everybody. Let's have a party. I wonder who knows the most people from the Grave Matters household. Guess we'll just kind of find out. Da -da -da -da. Well, that's... That's not enough people. I guess Moon can come. Why not? We're just gonna go through all of them and then say invite. Okay, there's Draven. There's Aunt Harley. And that's it. <laughs> Trinity, I feel like you don't know anybody because I don't think you really took an interest. Valkyrie was flirting with Draven. Oh my. Okay, nope. Uh, Ivy? Uh, do you know anybody except Draven? Frick, I don't I don't know if we can have everybody, whoops. That's okay. We'll have just Draven and our Aunt Harley are fine. That is okay. Let's introduce ourselves and then let's go party downstairs make everybody come and swim down here except I don't think I can make the baby swim nope okay swim here swim here swim here gotta have everybody come swim you know Swim in the little Phantom of the Opera zone. <laughs> it's beautiful! My goodness. This is a place where you come to party. Mr. Hemlock has got a sweet setup. Everybody's increasing their fitness skill. Good times. Okay, we need to also make sure that we introduce ourselves to Draven. Let's we'll have a friendly introduction. Okay, I think it would be funny though if Orchid had a flirty introduction just for Selena's. Oh, she doesn't have flirty. That makes sense though, because Sabina's like a cheerful son. There we go. Hooray! The the party that has been prophesied. It is it is happening. They're all enjoying themselves. It's a great time. This would be so fun to hang out down there. Okay, let's see, where are you? How dare you! You're not at the pool party! Okay, let's get all of them down there. I'm scared? What are you scared of? Oh, of Moon? Uh oh. Well, that's why I made a moon containment chamber. She was, like, getting real snarly with everybody. 
Okay, this is great. Everything is going well. They can take a swim, then they can hear Mr. Hemlock play the organ, and then after, relax by the fire with a good book. Help, I'm not alive! <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny. Let's go! Go, Mr. Hemlock! Get it! Play it up! <laughs> Basement pool party. We're all invited. Let's go! Right? Wouldn't that be so cool going? It would be like a dream. Hell yeah. So I just think of that song called uh, Help I'm Alive. I think it's by Metric. My heart's beating like a hammer. You know, you probably know that one. Or maybe you don't. Look it up. It's a good song. So that's, that's funny that that's a song title for him to play. Yeah, he's jamming out. Okay, let's make one of them go read a book. Read something. And then sit. Sit and chat here. And <laughs> scratch. Like a wild animal. Go for it. Live your dream. Well, I think everybody's enjoying the pool party, so that's good. No one's died. It's always a positive in this game. <laughs> what is going on? Bowl of frights. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. So we've got Orchid and Sabina made. I could just go into making Damien now. Do you guys want to see Damien made? Let me know what you think, chat. Whoa, hello. What's going on? Who's freaking out? Yeesh. Now, here's the thing. I would... Whoa, what is going on over here? Are you guys showing something on your phone? Got a funny meme? Show us. Okay, I'll sh put your kid in the freaking crib. It's funny to me how the Sims are just like, yeah, let's let's let the the little toddler infant thing sleep on the floor. Yeah, they they like to get spooked by Moon. Moon's scary. She rages and shit. You guys want to see Damien? Oh yeah, Daddy, Mister Hemlock. <laughs> I think he turned out pretty good in this, too. He looks good. Okay, let's save. Manage worlds. And then we'll make Damien. What I was saying is, I would make their rooms personalized like I did for Strange Happenings. The only issue is, there doesn't seem to be as much room in this house. It's not as spacious. Not really... I don't know, it's not lending itself well to being as decorated. I could try, but I don't know. I think it's decorated pretty well. Okay, let's add Damien. I think they're all looking pretty good. All right, add a Sim. We're gonna make him an occult, like kind of sorcerer type Sim. Okay, let's see. All right, Spellcaster, there we go. Hey. Oh good, the game knows we're making a guy. And just for funsies, I kind of want to make him gray, because, you know, Damien is literally gray. Oh. Okay, I'm grabbing Damien. I actually have the LPS right here. I'm grabbing him out of his baggie. Ooh. Okay, so he's got these beautiful blue eyes. Uh, let's see, he's like... Um, let's see, that's actually closer to his gray, though. I don't know. It's hard to tell in this lighting that I'm in. He's a pretty dark gray. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We could kind of do, like, the, the middle ground gray. So, for the purposes of this, I'm trying to decide... 
Let me see here. I'm trying to decide what age to make him because technically he like appears younger, but he's much older. Kind of a deal, so. I don't see him having a beard. <laughs> I don't see him having facial hair. Okay, let's see here. I, the hair is funny as hell to me, though. Like, damn, look at that. There you go, Damien. You got some nice, nice hair. <laughs> Slicked back emo hair. Let's go. Oh my god. The Aunt Harley hair is beautiful. Oh, no, I kind of liked the one with the bangs. This is good, too. I kind of imagine that he'd have, like, longer hair. Like, why not? This is hot, too. Like, guys, should we lean into, like, full emo? Like, have him have, like, the swooped hair? <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, let's change your eyes really quick. Okay, and then he has blue eyes. They're kind of like the lighter blue. Yeah, let's go with the lighter blue. <laughs> I'm in love with an emo boy. You get. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you guys don't know this, I uh, I use little miniature Ziplocs per LPS. They get their own baggie, and it makes it so that their paint doesn't scuff on each other. It works really well. So that's my that's my storage tips from LPS Lover. I need to make that into like a TikTok or something. Like I need to spread my my the good word of the baggie. It's something I've done for years. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I, I think his face is fine. Like, I think we can work with that. He is kind of thin if you look at the LPS. Like, but then again, we want to give him kind of a... Yeah. Let's make his shoulders a bit more broad. He needs, like, some... I think he needs some makeup. Let's, let's give this man some makeup. Like, guyliner is always in fashion. I, okay, that's funny as hell, just doing the... Like, you've been oh, crying. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I feel it. We gotta make sure that all of his looks... Whoa, what is this? Very dapper. We gotta make sure that he has, like, uh, eyeliner for all of his looks. Yeah, he needs that guyliner. You feel me? Give me that guy liner. Guy liner. Sulius Clarne. Honestly, ah, I think guys Suavius. just look really good with guy liner. Like, if you're a guy, try some guy liner, you know? You, you never know. Theory. You might ah, like ah, it. Ah, it's a cabra. <laughs> I don't like these stripes just for fun. Vas, vas, beshni. Okay, why not? Let's go with it. Yeah, you know what? Why not? He's looking good. Should we give him painted fingernails just because we can? Give him give him some little emo boy fingernails? I mean, why not, right? Ooh, pretty. Maybe we'll just go with black. Classic. Okay. Give him some black fingernails for days. <laughs> Do you guys like when guys paint their fingernails? I think it looks good. Do the thing that makes you happy. <laughs> He's beautiful! Oh my god, look at this man. This beautiful man. Whoa! Fancy as hell. Honestly, I don't hate the, the top. Like, it's fine. It's fine by me. Yeah, I like the torn up look. That's fun. All the- whoa, he's got like- he's been in some battles. That's- that's true of Damien though, you know? Actually, I kind of do like the shorts. It's... <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> 
maybe for this we should make him a teen so that he can like flirt with Draven, so it's not like too strange. There's Bokana. Meet them. So we'll just do that, I think, for for this. Boss, boss, or speak now and forever hold your peace. Swabius, oh, blit. I, he, he could be an adult too, I don't know. Hmm, this is... Huh. Yeah. I'll just have him be kind of like with what Orchid was doing into the spellcraft and sorcery. Man, there's... Okay, let's just let's just go with this. I'm, I'm keeping it simple. Sure, you can like the pipe organ and painting, and then you also like, uh, you like writing. And for some reason, you love gardening. There you go. Boz, moo! <laughs> so I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we should we go with teen or should we go with adult? I'm thinking teen. It's hard though, because he he technically is much older. He just looks younger. It's kind of like I guess you could almost see it similar to like an Edward Bella type of thing. That you know, like how Edward's much older, but he's like Younger, but it's different. I don't know how to explain it without giving too much away. Hmm, I'd say for Damien, let's see. He probably would just be romantic gloomy. Ooh, M Kafoof Gaffa. Yeah, there we go. Jafuni! Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, there's no setting for a mortal cryptid in The Sims, so he's a teen equivalent. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, he could plant the flowers that he was gonna give to Draven. That would make sense. Yeah, why not? Okay, he's gotta have a lower voice. What's Whoa. Hello. Yeah, bye. Oh, this is the female voice of Oh, Bekanoi. Tonkupu Espinal Dosp. Chapula Naruma Barbamu. Mentajenko. Kaduma. Plas Quexel and Gao Jifa. Hmm, okay. Amka Fluv Gafa. That sounds lower to me. Okay, let's change those oh. pants. Boss, boss, yeah, that, that looks better. <laughs> like, much better. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it looks like he's just wearing undies. Okay, let's change that. Let's give him, like, some shorts or something. That was funny. Okay, this is his hot outfit, like out and about with the heat, the sun. Whoa, colorful. Oh my gosh, I kind of love that. Why not? Why not? He's coming together great. He looks good. Oh my gosh, yeah, I like the, the, these pants with the stripes. That looks great. Okay, yeah, I think I think he's looking good. I'm wondering if I should like add like lipstick. I don't know, maybe he's good as he is. Like he looks great. Could uh, could just be done. <laughs> oh, oh. He does have the deepest voice in the show, that's true. I think we're good. He is a teenager now, so let's see. Yes, he would. I think we're good. I, I'm feeling it. Okay, it's looking good, guys. All right, we'll we'll go with it then. Well, the fun thing about this is you can always go back and you can add more. You can change it up. There's so much to do. Usually when I'm playing The Sims, I have a lot of adjustments that I go back into later anyway. I'm like, oh, I could tweak this. 
I'm gonna add this. Oh, this character looked good with this. Oh my gosh, he's here, and he- <laughs> He's so beautiful! Okay, let's introduce ourselves. <laughs> Bright <Okay>. day! <laughs> they're too- They're like, memeing it up. They're- they're too distracted. Go- go meet Damien, he's like here and stuff. He- you just popped out of the womb! He's here! He's ready! I, I love the nice gray up. skin. I think that's so fun. Subsital. Okay. <laughs> Herfel compliment. Silly. <laughs> silly, silly. How compatible are these two? If he offers a rose, does she immediately reject him? That'd be so funny. Oh, they're staring into each other's eyes, like, rather deeply. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why- why are they staring into each other's eyes so deeply? Is this another glitch? In the Matrix? Hello? How long are you guys gonna just stare at each other? Nabatani! <laughs> oh, there's Willow! Willow's like, oh hey, I should introduce myself. Share melancholy thoughts! Oh yeah, they have that in common! Oh, <laughs> Let's door. let's emoly cry. Oh, oh, that's rough, buddy. That's rough doing it right in front of Willow. Okay, well, no. See, she's she's supportive in this in this AU. It's fine, I guess. Or what is she? What is her reaction? Oh my goodness. Why are you in your swimsuit still, Draven? Like, whoa. I don't want you to freeze to death like Willow almost did. Okay, change outfits. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Oh my god, they're beautiful! <laughs> she accepted it! That's good! Hmm. Ask about love life? Okay. Whoa, he just walked away. Is he hungry? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I love it! It's so beautiful! He's so emo! Damien, emo fits you. Like, it suits you, buddy. You look so good! Wow. Yeah, it's happening. Like, they're, they're digging on each other. Like, those people, paleontologists finding those dinosaur bones. And Zombie's taking a fat shit because she doesn't care! She doesn't give a frick! I piss on your love. Ooh, I piss on your love. <laughs> okay, let's see. What, what else can I do? I like how she like has hearts coming out as she's taking a dump. <laughs> So funny. That split second of being happy and then going back to being very sad. <laughs> I know! The Sims are so funny like that. Oh my gosh, Damien, I gotta show you. Like, there's like this seance table we should go do together. Oh, it's their, it's gonna be their first seance. How beautiful. Okay, let's go. Get your butt in here. You can eat later. It's time to seance it up. He's too sad to seance, darn. Oh, okay, he's chatting it up. Alright, get in there. He's too busy, I guess. Damn. Okay, <laughs> the way he walks is so funny. This is a great moment, guys. It's happening. Raven's really into it. Crush. He's feeling the vibes, emo <laughs> Lee. The real drama would come if we added zero to the mix. <laughs> Arnarb. Oya Galang. Oh! Slepidash. Oh. Aha! 
Oh no, what happened? Break. They're coming soon. Better think twice about opening the door. Is the house gonna be haunted? That'd be cool. That would kind of liven up stuff. You wanna you wanna commune with the departed again? Yeah, get it, Damien. Go. <laughs> Should we add zero? Yeah, I know, right? I mean, you could definitely tell Willow liked Damien a lot. I mean, it makes sense. She died and he was like the one person with her for all that time. Like, can you imagine being killed by like your fiance? Oh, sorry, your newly wedded husband? Like, he just murders you, and then some hot emo guy is there on the other side? Like, how could you not? <laughs> when it comes to stories, Triangle Shape loves the best. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Well, Damien is like an otherworldly entity, so him being gray makes a lot of sense. I'm very pleased with that. Otherwise, I'd be very concerned for him. I'm like, y'all right, bro? Looking a little gray. Okay. I could add zero. Should I go for it, guys? Should I go for it? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Just to spice it up a little bit. Gotta have Zero live in the same damn house. <laughs> he can always live with Moon and Venus. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just make it juicy. A little juicy drama. Okay, let's see here. Let's get Zero slapped up on the table. Dorne Barbamul Jensiba. Z uh, let's see here. Zero is just a human. <laughs> yep, boy. Whoa. The news it is definitely not zero. Okay, so zero is just a human. He's just some guy. He's just some human guy. Okay, let's see. So he has. He would have black hair. Hmm, no. It's kind of hard to, like, because when I imagine the LPS, I just see them, like, how they are. Like, I don't really imagine them as people. Um, hmm. I like the, yeah, okay, let's see. Hmm. So many skin tones to choose from, it's kind of overwhelming. Okay, let's see. He'd probably have... <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of hair does he have. I feel like... God, I don't... I don't like this hair. It's kind of nice. Huh. Hmm... Well, he is Draven's boyfriend, at least in the series. In the AU, who knows? I kind of want to try different faces. Actually, I'll just try giving him different eyes. Let's just do that. Whoa. Okay, those those eyes are kind of cute. All right, let's go with that. Um, and then we'll—he's kind of a shy little guy, you know. Um, let's see. <laughs> the earrings are cute. the the little piercings and stuff. Those are fun. Ooh. Okay, so he also kind of dresses uh kind of gothically, like uh, 
Draven, so we need to find that really quick. You know, because they are together for a reason. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, we need to give him a different color. Yeah, alright. We need to give him some good old boots. Yeah. Okay, are you guys feeling it or not so much? I think Zero had like green eyes because he has like the same color of green eyes as Draven. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, well, how do I get to the chins? I gotta I gotta edit your chin. Oh, and he's also a teen. Kofa. You're bleak? <laughs> Khalil. I really wanna try um some other like let's see, let's try another nose. Looks like he has a very like um kind of like a sweetness to him like he's kind of i don't know how to describe it he just looks like he'd be kind of a cuddly little guy okay i would say that zero is very family oriented so that's definitely gonna probably be one of his things likes black and green huh. Okay, his voice is way too high. I know that. Alternative. baloney. Oh, yibs. Ah. Thank you, Rob. Wake. Okay. Activities. He likes fishing. He like cooking. Candiness, painting. Actually, he likes a lot of these things. Frick. Okay, um, let's make him... <laughs> the cat ears, that's cute. The little cat ears. <laughs> Me being called concentrated. Okay, let's see here. Um, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Gotta give him that guy liner. Ooh. Maybe he'd like actually wear lipstick too. Okay, maybe not like that. <laughs> okay, maybe not the shiny lipstick. <laughs> Let's give him some matte black. There we go. <laughs> I'm like really absorbed. I'm trying to be like, okay, how can I make this be perfect as zero? Okay, maybe he'd... You know what? Let's just go with it. I really liked the thing that just did the styled looks. What styled looks are we feeling? Uh huh. There we go. Uh -huh. Wearing dark purple for Draven. Ooh, yeah, this this doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. 
<laughs> okay, I really like See that. That's fun. Look at him. Look at him go! Cute. <laughs> the bright pink swim trunks. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay, let's try another style. Okay, I like that. Let's go with that. Whoa, that's, that is styling. Okay, I like the red. Very snazzed. Snazzed out. Snazzy. I feel like he needs more black lipstick. That's what this is what is missing. Okay. All right, black lipstick. Here we go. Huh. Okay, not the shiny kind. Give me that matte baby. What do you guys think? Do you think he's cute? Like he looks like a like he looks like a like like he's good. Looks zero esque. Okay, so he is family oriented. Where are you? Family oriented. Oh, I don't know if they have that for teens. That's probably something you unlock later. That's okay. We'll just choose out something else. He's very gentlemanly, so there's no like good manners on here. So I'm trying to see what's kind of matching. He loves the outdoors, I know that. I could also see him being like a music lover. Hmm. Okay, I'll just do that. And then he really needs his voice changed. Oh, kinda. Plus, Quexel and Gao Jifa. No ba'as book. I think that's better. I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, I'm just making sure... Well, he's supposed to have kind of a gothic leaning. So I gotta make sure that his outfit's kind of a line. Yeah, okay, that, that probably looks a bit more goth. Hmm... Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with this. I think that's good for zero. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yay, he's made! He's been birthed! Wow, this is truly the game that just keeps going. When does it stop? No one knows. And I just ran out of water. <laughs> Okay, let's go meet Zero. Uh, scream incoherently. <laughs> that's that's how you make a first impression. <laughs> I love how he's just like standing here innocently, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was worth it. That was funny as hell. <laughs> it scared him. Um, you know what you do after a pretty girl screams at you? You flirt with her. Whoa, she's into it. She's in she's into it! Damn! Uh like damn. That's <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> Draven, what about Damien though? Oh, he's asleep on the, the couch. It's okay, he doesn't have to know that some guy is hitting on her. Wait, you all of a sudden decide you don't like her, but you're you're rizzing her up? What the fudge? Ah, <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. You need some food, buddy? Way Bo. Well, they're they're not digging each other so much anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. All right, now we gotta do our zombie check. How is zombie doing? Just fine. Okay, that's where the frick is zombie? I don't see a bright green cat. Oh, there you are. You were hiding. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Okay, zombie's doing great. Gotta introduce. Whoa, there's like a floating door. The frick? Oh, it's the mirror! <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's, that's trippy. Okay, somebody... Okay, there you go, Zero. You can eat the ham dinner. Perfect. Yay, they're friends, and Zombie is sleeping oh so soundly. If the camera would cooperate with me! That'd be great. Oh my gosh, Damien! He looks good. Time to commune. Making biscuits on the seance table. That is, that's great. I love that. I wonder how Damien and Zero would interact. Okay, let's see. Let's just do something kind of surface level, like... Discuss interests. No matter how bad things may seem, at least you're not dead like me, chin up. How do you know that? Yes. <laughs> Ah, Yeah, see, like, they're getting along just fine. I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> if they got a chance to, like, actually interact with oh, each other Marini. without, like, the jealousy and stuff, they probably would, oh, like, get along pretty good. Me ploy your bands. Uh -huh. Aris is all Ginzo. Uh. Tease mercilessly? No, oh my gosh. Yanawa? That's funny as hell. Let's get Treeb. Yaflabavgar. Yeah, they're, they're getting along pretty well. Okay, let's see what else is going on. How's everybody else doing? So they're at school. Willow's asleep. And Harley is living her life. Will she woohoo with Venus? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's just invite... Let's invite her. Come on, hang out with me! Whoa, somebody possessed the toilet again and broke it. Mmm, the juicy Sims gameplay. Venus Cunningham will be right over. Okay, taking a nap on the couch. Because there's literally nowhere else to sleep because it's not assigned to you. There's Venus. Looking good. Okay, tell engaging story. Wait a minute. No, I can't do it. Damien's sleeping soundly. How could I disturb Damien's sleep with the woohoo? <laughs> yeah, of course Aunt Harley would break the toilet. <laughs> Too bad. I'm sorry, Damien. We gotta we gotta get you out of this bed. Oh oh wait 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 is it gonna is it coming? Is it is is it is it the time? Oh poor Damien. He isn't even. Oh he's like oh something within me says I should get the freak out of here. Damien, I'm sorry. Here, you can go sleep in Draven's bed. There you go. Alright, guys, we did it. They are woohooing it up. Okay, I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Break out the candles! The romance is in the air! They're, they do be woohooing! 
Aunt Harley is getting some today. Yeah, so there, there they go. There she goes. There she goes for the first time. Yeah, so that that just happened. So they just took their relationship to another level. Good for them. Whoa, they were just flipping the pillows. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Oh yeah, just get a nice little little eep in there. All right. Okay, ladies, there you go. We did it, folks. They did the they did the woohoo. All right, all is all is well in the Grave Matters household. Where the frick is Willow, though? We gotta check on Willow. Somehow she is very happy, even though she is literally just in her little tiny room by the sad clown painting. It's so freaking funny. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, everybody, it's been awesome playing The Sims 4. We've done quite a bit today in this session. A lot of the Grave Matters characters have been made. And I think we're, we're doing pretty good. We did a lot! <laughs> like, I even made Sabina an orchid, too. And Zero and Damien, as long, like, as well as the main Grave Matters cast. Yeah, just let him go to the bathroom and let it happen. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to tell me in the archive comments of this video what other characters you'd like to see me make into Sims. Like, would you like to see a household of, like, Sparky, Valentine, Chester, etc.? Would you like to see me make all the psychic pigs? Do you want to see me make, like, Ringo, Russ, and Mikey? There's all kinds of LPS lover characters. I thought it'd be really fun to make Butterscotch, like... So just let me know in the comments, like after this video is over for the people in the chat and the people watching this, like just come back on the video, leave a comment and tell me like who you want to see next for the next part. Cause I think it'd be awesome to play this again. It really helps if you guys do that, if you want to see more like of the Sims. So that'd be awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been really fun. I hope you guys have had fun too. I love these characters so much, so it's really cool to, like, make them as the Sims and just, like, you know, goof around in this little alternate universe with them. So I hope you guys all have a great day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye everybody!